Hello and welcome to Crucible of Words for yet more dedicated legacy action. Today we've got a treat for you. We're playing Alluren again, but this time we're going to play it well because we've got a special guest, Charbel, coming to help us out. Alright, so, um, so this is four color uh, bug white Alluren. Um, it's it's a little, it's a lot more complicated than uh, the standard bug versions of the versions that play Acer Uh It's got a lot more moving parts. It's got a lot of cards that look sort of uh, dead on the surface, but when you get into, you get more into the deck, you sort of understand why they're there, and they're not, they're not really quite as as dead as uh, you may think at first glance. So you've got your, you've got uh, your your basic cantrips. You've got so. Uh, you have Cabal Therapy in this list because that's just generates a lot of power. You can leverage it a lot to make sure you combo off. L lots um, of disposable bodies to throw to it as well, yeah. necessary as well as the combo yeah. Veteran Explorer that you can then find as well, or the yeah. Academy Rector combo. Yeah. Um. So this so this build is going to go through uh win win off a a learn and generally a single recruit of the guard. Um. There's enough intricacies and redundancy to sort of just throw pieces away or be able to fight through and power through removal. Um, and we have a lot of interaction and, as well. We've got, we've got yeah, Snuff yeah. Outs, Abrupt Decays, Force of Wills, and Cabal Therapy. That's a lot of Please. protection and interaction for a combo deck. Yeah, and there's a ton of recursion, a ton of ways to bring things back to just just to just to sort of fight through other interaction. Um, sideboard, you've got um, sort of dedicated... Um, Dedicated pieces. You've got Graveyard Hate, uh, Meddling Mage, Surgicals. Surgicals, uh, really good. Brazen Borrower, um, just as a sort of catch-all. You've got Leovold to bring in off Green Sun Zenith. Carpet. We're trying um, to cast a four-man enchantment, so when we can bring yeah. Carpet in, that's going to do loads yeah. of work for us. Yeah. Um, indeed is super, super underrated. Like, it seems slow, but a lot of the time you're deeding for zero or one, and that does a tremendous <laughs> amount of work. It hits also lands as well. If they're lands, artifacts or enchantment lands, they hit yeah. them. It, it it dunks on Urza's Saga decks. Um, and um, obviously we can tutor for it with Rector. So there's some really nice synergy yeah. here. And just some good deck building is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. And some difficult yeah, and loops like Arctic Merfolk. For, is, uh, yeah, and notable because the, uh, the bouncing the creature is part of the cost. So going through the recruiter loop, you'll automatically get to putting a Cavern Harpy on the stack, um, which is further than having to bounce it with a targeted creature or a creature that needs a trigger to resolve. Um, so it'll just it'll just bounce it as part of the cost, and you can hold priority to do a bunch of crazy things and protect it from removal. So, yeah, seems good. Um, we've got loads of cool stuff going on, and I'm really excited to play this one. So... Just before we jump into it, let me just do a plug. Like, comment, subscribe. These things help me and they don't cost you anything. So why wouldn't you do it? Uh, so we're going to jump into a league of uh, four color alluring with our special guest, Charbel, who's going to make it look like I know what I'm doing, but he's going to be doing quite a lot of the work, I imagine. Uh, but by the end of it, I'm going to have learned alluring enough that I can make non-embarrassing alluring content for you all. All right, let's jump into a legacy league. All right, so we're, we're on the die roll for match one. Yeah, you want to play? Yeah. What does this hand um, look like to me? Ooh, it's not good. It needs you generally just want like lots of lands. Yeah, so uh, like we have no ponder, we have no way of getting more lands no. going. So yeah. I'm pretty sure I can see this as a mulligan. Uh, this one we got two lands, mm. we have no ponder. We we're insulated a little bit, but it's cavern harpy, which is the one we really don't want to pitch to our force of will. So I'm instinctively thinking I that would, we don't I would keep mulligan this thing. Yeah. This one has a ponder. Okay, this is fine. But we're gonna to have to get a non-basic yeah. to cast it. Is the only issue, but we do have force protection. Yeah, I would. Um, I well, would throw actually, back... we don't because we have to throw some stuff back. So. Yeah, I would throw back force and therapy. Forest, yeah. No force. Force, force sorry. Force of will. Uh, um, and therapy. So we can't Ideally, we're for probably a, not a gonna want. We're probably not gonna want to pitch anything to this force, but um, on the combo turn, we I, can have it later. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. We're not using it as like a control deck. We're using it as no. uh, protection. So this has to get us a non-basic, which is the only issue. But yeah, I, w I actually wouldn't wouldn't crack the fetch yet. I would just play it. All right. I want to want to see what their first turn is. Like, I'm because our second land is a forest as well. It's unlike we're just going to draw a Baleful Strix. We want to cast anyway. So 
you may as well get the most amount of information. So this looks like Basically either enough. Painter or like Prison Deck. Probably Painter's more popular. I think Painter, than yeah. Would be my assumption. Um, so then, they, I don't think they run Blood Moon now that they have... Um, no, it's usually a sideboard option. So then, yeah, I would... Un let's see what we draw. Um, okay, Swamp's good. Um, I would crack uh, the Catacombs for, for a drop. Uh, drop. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Uh, Trunk Island. Let's get some Pondering going. Yeah. Pyroblast? Yeah, yeah. sure. That's okay. Fine. Painter got, confirmed. Got lands. Yeah. Um, doesn't really matter which one we play here, I don't think. We yeah, play the green one because we then don't show yeah. them that we're playing black. Obviously, Venom Catacombs can give them that assumption, but we might just be playing it for the green. It's better to hide what we're doing. All right, Great Furnace into Fable Mirror Breaker. Sure. Cool. Uh, well, we're not a million miles away from being able to win anyway, really, because we no, already have the Alluring. A land and a... Okay, another Ponder's good. Okay. Uh, I think we play this before the land, just so we know what we're up to. Yep. Maximum information before you commit to plays. Oh, so... that's very good. That's almost perfect. Um, so I would take... Mm. Um... So we need the land to cast the Recruiter. So we definitely uh, need both well, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't play the Recruiter. Um... The question is, I think we just, I think we just go for it on turn four. We're on the mold of five, um, so I would order therapy bottom, um, recruiter, up, second delta top, and then I would just play the swamp, making it look like we have a breath decay. Yeah, and then so next time we can do some shenanigans with our yeah alluring. So is Recruiter and Alluring alone enough to yeah, that's get things win. That's, going? That's, that should just be win. Because um, you can get I the Merfolk, bounce your other Recruiter. Yeah. And get if Kevin they Harvey have a Pyro them. Blast and play it perfectly, they can stop us. Um, but I imagine they're going to have five, mana up at the end of this turn, though, because they've got three mana and this Goblin. So unlikely they're going to commit all of their mana to the board But they also have Pyro turn. Blast the right target. Yeah. Um, now, depending on what they do, we might not be pressured into necessarily going off, but we we'll also have to I question think, whether I, I it's going it's to get better or not. Um, yeah, um, yeah, let's see. Um, Goblin Engineer. Yeah, then I, I would go next turn. <laughs> so this has yeah, got both halves of the combo. Yeah. So. yeah. And a Goblin Work. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we, have, we, we don't have a right choice now. now. But, and they're holding up Pyroblast, but we can't really do anything about that. But if they Pyroblast wrong, then they lose. Um, so, yeah. Get a basic island. And this bit, I think I, I think I've worked out how this bit works. Yeah. So Ma make sure to hold priority yeah. because on the merfolk because that is people will trip up with their pyroblast there and misread the card. Uh, so, oh. oh, I the wrong Right. So we have no reason to try and do this in their upkeep or anything. We should just go for it now. No, I'm just jam right now. So go get this one. Do we get There's another recruiter, recruiter first? Yeah. Yeah? In case they try to pyroblast something wrong. Or have they, or they have bolt or something. Uh, do we get all of them out of the deck? Um, uh, bar one? No, I would get... Four. I would get... Um, since it's possible they have pyro... But it's, there's a good chance they have pyroblast. I would only get two. So I would now I would get merfolk. Okay. So this is a bit where we hold priority here. We cast this with a lure in yeah. and kicker. kicker. Yeah. To bounce this guy. And then okay. this then on the stack, the we crack this recruiter. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Get harpy. Uh, so where's a harpy? There it is. So um, then we... you could you could trick them by. I'm trying to see if there's a benefit to playing out harpy to trick them. Uh, well, no. If they have pyroblast, they'll pyroblast the harpy. So yeah. yeah. Then so we kind of have to let the. Yeah, let the Merfolk resolve. Okay, it looks like this Merfolk is getting pyroblasted. Which is okay. fine for us, right? Yeah, that's that's fine. Um <laughs> Yeah, wait. just let it happen. Um, um So we can go off in response to their painter being in play. Uh no. Uh because Because all our creatures will be blue creature. then. Right? Oh, that's true. If they pick blue they do lose. Um because this can't bounce any of these guys just yet. Yeah. So we'll have to see what they do then. Um, Our oh, Force of Will doesn't interact here, though. So. Yeah. 
We have to pass a turn um, and see if they do the painter, I think. Yeah. They don't know what our other card is, so it is it is possible they could... Okay. They've, we've gone through two Pyroblasts today, so they might not need to name the, uh, the blue with it. Yeah. Sure, so just getting maximum amount of mana. Our life totals are relevent for this. So just let take the damage, keep all our guys in play. And see when they go for it. They probably go for an hour upkeep. Okay, so they're okay. putting the painted servant in now. Yep. This is the moment of truth to see what color they're in. Yep. I suspect they might not help us out. Yeah, they've chosen red, so they can just red. get us. Okay. We can't really do anything here. Because we can't interact on the stack with our force of will either. So I'm pretty sure this is game. Uh... They got the three mana up. Yeah, that's game. Sure. That was not bad for a Melda 5. <laughs> All righty then. So, Cyborg, and I'll, let's see what I think is right. So, Endurance can buy us a turn if that's the thing we want to do. Collector Roof is an obvious include here. Yeah. The Pernicious Deed is probably going to be pretty sweet in this matchup. Insane, match yeah. Insane against them. Um, I'm not surgical, a big, I would bring in. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of things like Meddling Mage. No. Because they uh, do stuff. They're... So, all these things have got text in the matchup, and I don't think mm, we need I these. wouldn't bring in Plague Engineer or Fairy. Um, no? No. Um, now... This is always this is always one of the hardest matchups to shave cards. Um, so I've cut one force. They do um, have a load of pyroblast, so our blue spells are. Yeah, I would cut. On uh, cut one, one baleful strix. Yeah, that makes sense to me because we're not like the only thing we have to worry about damage wise yeah. at the, for the most part is the um, as a saga constructs, and if they have the fraction dragon engine, we can't block it with strix because it's got double strike anyway. So uh, we just go through it. I'm trying to think because I'm trying to think if I've played this matchup with. Um, you do want you do want decay because they're going to be ringing. Um, yeah, so we have got a reasonable it, spectre move, removal um, around here. They're going to run through their hands pretty fast, so I'll I take out one therapy. Yeah, that makes sense, especially when they get like their dragon engine online. Um, and just draw. A this is always a matchup where I run sixty-one, um, because I want my silver bullets. I would cut another force. Yeah. I guess we only need one for our combo turn, but we don't have that many things to pitch to it either here. Yeah. Um, well, I'd, Force is kind of weird in this matchup because they're not, they're like, you want it for like the welder, and then then it doesn't really matter after that. Yeah. Like, I guess you need it uh, sometimes like as a controlling element when they've got like the really good hand. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, so we're so going to submit 61 like this. this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's give this a go. Yikes. Okay, mm, well, nope, uh, I think no. I've, I can work out we're not supposed to keep this one. Let's have a little mulligan. Uh, the great. collector roof is pretty nice. We've got Brainstorm to fix our hand if required, and yeah, array to just sort of pull some back, damage. And then that's a great hand. So, yeah. Now we just lead on fetch lands and have perfect Brainstorms when we want them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would probably just play Flooded Strand and pass. So they're not going to be messing with our hand or anything anyway, so we don't need to have any emergency brainstorm so we can just brainstorm with a fetch land when the time comes or we can play out the collector if depending on what our opponent does uh yeah depends what. I, I would probably just rush out the Ufa as soon as possible um sometimes i like to brainstorm aggressively in this um but like this isn't the hand for that yeah it's not as yeah, if we've... Uf is Uf is so devastating to them sure so they've they're representing the turn three kill with the leading off on saga because when it pops it gets yeah. them the grindstone uh, also, Saga yeah. is a reasonable way of getting around Collector Roof because it gives them a threat that ignores the text of Collector Roof. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. That's that's fantastic. Okay. Sometimes yeah, I would just play out Oof and on whenever it's their turn, Deed for zero will probably yeah. just end the game. Uh, I think we can afford to get Basics here. Yeah. Um, so it should yeah. be Island, Island and, and forest. forest. Yeah. I don't think they would bring in. Um, the blood moons they sometimes have in this matchup anyway i'm pretty active on the old painter discord so i'm very familiar with yeah. the deck oh i love yeah, painter so. my usual preference though is white painter which is a bit unorthodox mm. all right yeah so just going to be playing some guys here yeah so that's, that's fine for us yeah i would just play deed and crack it for zero that's yeah because so, uh, if they if they then they'll they miss a land drop they're they get no because they. It looks to me like this might be an opal hand. Um, so like, yeah, I would just play deed, crack it. Sure. So I just get a swamp off of this one. Yeah. 
and play the D because it'll hit the Saga and any tokens yeah, they make in response. Yeah, and anything it makes, yeah. yeah. So they're not going to be very happy about this. Nope. D is, D, D, D is so good. I've, I've had a lot of people say, like, oh, this card's slow, and I'd be like, it is like a 9 for 1. <laughs> it does work. And in situations like this, you get to scoop yeah. up the Saga and the value. Yeah. And then we can sort of take over the game with an Uro as well. Yep. Are they... Oh, there they are. Pretty reasonable turn. A painter's mm -hmm. servant, sure. Have they got a follow up land or not? Some blue. So that's helpful for us. And I don't seem to have any red sources at the moment. They might have Simon Spirit guys for um to pitch things with anyway. Oh okay. Right. So we so, just need an allure and we can combo here, yeah. right? So Yeah. Does that uh, mean we're probably brainstorming this turn instead? Like yeah, I would, I, would, yeah I would brainstorm and then then play the fetch land. Uh, I suppose you still want to play out the brainstorm now. Yeah. Rather than waiting. All right. What have you got for us, deck? Another deed. Um, those are all good. But they're, they have Painter out. It's on two. So I would put the deed back. Um, I would take... Yeah, I would take the... Yeah, I would keep the Ponder, I think. Yeah, because um, we're they're... just looking for our combo now, right? Yeah. Um, cause they, yeah, I would, if they had red mana, then I would, I would keep the therapy, but it looks like they don't. So let me just crack this and fire for Ponder. We want to get a trop off of this one so we can yeah. cast a Lurin. And here we go. Let's see if we can find a helpful card on top. So there's the Lurin yeah. and the Parasite. There's, there's all you need. Brainstorm. Oh yeah. Just order it as is, yeah. Uh, just as is, you reckon it's fine. Uh, we're yeah. going to put Brainstorm on the bottom, right? It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. You you can draw your entire deck with Uro. All right. Uh, sure. And then just pass. Seems like a pretty good spot for us to be in. And because we've got the grindstone covered, that's quite nice to have as well. Yep. So lead with, um, because yeah, lead with Uro, um, and then stack the um, triggers such that the yeah. So we get the draw before blast. we get the yeah. evoke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I want to put this one on first. Yeah. Yep, so let me get draw ourselves okay, a card. So draw the card. Uh, no. Play the harpy. And then, get this and then respond to the harpy trigger with the parasitic tricks. So why were you responding here with this rather than just trying to? Um, this is to sure. play around, like removal that they probably can't cast, but just in just in case. Okay, for like similar spirit guy pyroblast type thing. Yeah, it, it, that that kind of yeah, corner case. Because obviously, Kevin Harpy, they can't. <laughs> This funny. doesn't do anything uh, to us. So. I thought that does give them a mountain, actually. <laughs> oh, I suppose, yeah. This can enable Pyroblast. Uh, but we've got the Cavern Harpy in play yeah, right now, right? Yeah, they, so. they would need two. Um, I guess they can Pyroblast the Strix on the stack, but then we can yeah, just that, that draw our deck with Uro. Do, yeah, yeah, that won't do much. Yeah. Oh, save targets. Um, that, that did telegraph it, so I would play... Um, but they do have Pyroblast... Uh, I would put the, I would put the Uro back, in the hand then, um, and wait until they commit mana. So they played well and not not pyroblasting. Uh, but pick up the Uro. And then we can replay it. Well, we can let this trigger off the stack. Um, I would, tomorrow. I would, I would, yeah, I would wait. I would just, I would just, pass the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Because they they tapped their their land and then untapped it, so I I'm pretty sure they have pyroblast. Okay. So this gives them an artifact they can grindstone. We can kill them in response to a grindstone. Yes. So this is one of those weird games where so much stuff is probably yes, going to be this, chucked this, on the stack. Yeah, this this matchup is very much like this. Very this is fun. a perfect reason of why I've got you here, right? Because <laughs> <Yeah. it's, laughs> yes, this is quite a tricky one to navigate. Because I would have been inclined to try and play the euro and see what happens. But I think you're right that we can just do this because they tap this to activate their engineer. Yeah. Like obviously, if they get more mana sources, things can change a little bit. But at the end of the day, I think we're fine here. Yeah. And we can always try and rifle through our deck and find ourselves a uh, force of will to pair with our brainstorm. Yeah. Or if we hit a recruiter, then we can get Eternal Witness to get back whatever they pyroblast. Yeah. And then also be able to bounce their painters. Um, Bouncer Painter Servant in response and um, to sort of fizzle the grindstone. Um, and if they if they play it back, then we can. Or yeah, this this matchup's kind of tricky, but there there are other lines that could come up. 
I think they're trying to decide whether or whether or not they want to go now. Whether they want to pyroblast something. If they pyroblast our Strix, we just yeah, we, win. we can go yep. off in response. We can just cycle yep. with the Captain Harpy. And if they don't, then they can't really cast any spells. They can't really do anything when they've got one land. Because their yeah, engineer game, isn't a well this point. And obviously, with yeah, the this, this, Harpy, this, we can activate it multiple times this, to return I don't, it. So. I don't blame them for taking uh, taking a lot of time to think because this this matchup is the the uh, this is one of my favorite matchups to play because the 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 point where like you reach this this standoff is super fun. Like both both decks here have got a lot of sort of leeway and play and wiggle room and options. So yeah. it's kind of all right. So Pyro looks like they're going for it. No, nope. yeah. Now we kill them. So we pay one life to return this. If they have Simeon Spirit Guide, then good for them, I guess. Uh, do, we uh, try, do we play the Euro out first? I would play Euro first, yes. Yeah, just so we can get another card deeper into our deck. Uh, sacrifice on the bottom. Same way. This stack is going to get huge. Oh, yeah. With Euro, it can get very large. Um, okay. No. Then play out the Harpy. Yeah, so they're F6. So, yeah, okay. now we, we kill them with the, the Strix. Just uh, the Strix loop. Yeah. So, bounce us back. Cast this. Bounce us back. Uh, yes. It needs to see the black permanent for it. Oh, okay, you can do it that way. But, um, So, I would... Yeah, so... Yeah, so I need to let these it, resolve. It, yeah. Uh, let these triggers resolve. Yeah. To drain them out. Yeah. And then we carry on yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, I do, I do one by one to keep it uh, clean, but also because the Strix needs to see the black permanent for it to drain to. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we just got to go through the motions now. And... Yeah. It's fairly fast, um, the the recruiter loop. Um, like it, it only takes me about a minute or two. It's but, certainly like... quicker than playing with the Aserac. Yeah. <laughs> Which I was done before, and it uh, took quite a amount of time out of my life. So we've obviously got less time on our clock than our opponent, which is why they're making us play through this, which is fair yeah. enough. I don't like it, but I understand why people do it. Because uh, I mean, I mainly, one? I mainly, I, I mainly play a lot of paper, and so it's it's it is a little frustrating to have. Uh, I don't think we want any change on the. No, I would keep it the same. Draw, resubmit. They haven't seen the snuff out yet either, so they won't know to sometimes name black because if they're naming a color that isn't. Um, blue, they should either be naming red for fury or black to prevent snuff outs. But I don't uh, think we've um, shown them the snuff outs yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, to play around black creature, yeah. Mm -hmm. Snuff out has been such a good addition. I'm I'm surprised I'd, I... I think I... I think I was just... I... I mean, I usually have a pretty good Delver matchup, but I think the only... Sometimes it would be... I think I would just... There would be games where you'd have it in the bag and they would just top deck Mark Tide. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was just like, I need a, I need a, I had played Bone Shredder, but um, I would tutor that out of the sideboard, but I wanted, Snuff Out is just overperformed. I would absolutely. We've got Cyborg Car, we've got Ponder. Yeah. Seems good to me. The only thing that can maybe catch us out is um, an early Magus. Yeah. But I think this hand is too uh, good to worry about yeah. that, to be honest. Yeah. Like, all we I need would... to do is find a fetch land or something off of our ponder, yeah. and we're all good. I'm going to see what their first play is, because if they... Okay, so they're holding um... up Pyroblast, so we don't really want to ponder yeah. into an open Pyroblast. Um, yeah, I would actually I would actually fire off the Brainstorm. Um, do we play this to get it out of the way? But it does leave us vulnerable yeah, to I would, the bolts. Yeah, I would... I would I, hmm. um, try to... If they bolt it, that would... Yeah, I would play the... Play the Tundra and then hold up Brainstorm in case they just rip Painter or something. Yeah, so you can paint, or you can Brainstorm in their turn, and we've basically wasted their yep. first turn in a deck that has lots of good turn one plays. Yeah. So, but okay. I respect our opponent for doing the uh, the check to see if we're going to play around the Pyroblast, because if we don't, we obviously get. I would room. think about, yeah, I would Brainstorm here. I'm Just... pretty sure our Brainstorm's going to hit Pyroblast, but that means our Ponder won't, so. Yeah, I want, I want the Ponder more. Right now, if we're doing it in response to this, it's going to be more likely yeah. for them to fire for power blast. I would imagine. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, so yeah, we get rid of the this. arbor and the just one of the forests. Merfolk or... back. The Merfolk. Oh, 
I'm trying to think. Uh, no, I want to land, and I don't think we would go get Uro afterwards. So yeah, I would put the Merfolk back. So I can have but a we're going to draw that anyway. So yeah. Oh yeah, good point. And this will, um, this will shut off their. If we play Oof and it resolves, it will shut off their Saga. Well, their ability to tap for it because they've got an artifact land. That's terrifying, but um, it's a little on the awkward side for us. But yeah. that's well, that's their scariest card in my opinion. This is it's just so it's so flexible. Not enough people kill the Goblin World on sight. Yeah, that's it's, my experience it's, of Legacy. Uh, uh, so yeah, so we get a basic, uh, basic chorus, and then the Oof, yeah. So they could have a Simon Spirit Guide to bolt it now, but otherwise they're going to have to use Man on their turn to deal with it. Which okay. is Looks like they don't. fine. And obviously they might not have a way of dealing with it. They have Furies in their deck, usually two in the main and one to two in the board. So yeah. I imagine they'll bring them in for this matchup because it's a good way of mowing down the creatures and we're on the fair plan. That's something to keep in mind and play around. Well, they're just passing. Look. Interesting. That's good. Hopefully because we've like stopped yep. them being able to do anything with their mana rather than anything else. Uh, so Probably yeah, pondering. I would, yeah, I would ponder and try to find a black source. Uh, no oh, black source. An allure in um, there. But I would I would keep that. Um so yeah, I would I would do island bottom, um witness middle, allure on top. Um now, is there an argument for playing out the arbor? Um not really. I would just play the forest and um Because we already have two lands anyway. Yeah. It's not we're gonna like we're gonna need this for the fourth one. Yeah. Um, um, is it better to play out the tropical island and represent a blue spell though? Yeah. Um mm, I'm Oh we have two basic forests, so if they have Blood Moon it doesn't matter. Um yeah, so then yeah, play the tropical island, yeah. And then we're using the green suns to get an Uro. Yeah. At some point soon. Um, might as well attack. Could swing in, but yeah, it doesn't. It probably doesn't matter a whole lot, but yeah, I think it's free chip damage here. Yeah. I don't think they're going to be able to do a one damage to anything. I guess yeah. the only way we get punished is if they have two Super Spirit guys to make this. Yeah, and there's no reason for us to do, to attack because we're not planning on no, winning really. access. So it's a very small thing that could possibly come back to bite us. So we may as well play around yeah. it. It seems very unlikely, but. It's free to play around, so I'll take it. Okay, so they're going to get something here. A Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle? That's not good. That's going to be Cavern Harpy. But we are playing our... Um... This is Ron Recruiter. It doesn't matter. We can just get Arctic Merfolk. Like, it usually it usually mattered, like, a teeny bit before, but now it just straight up doesn't matter if they name Cavern Harpy. Sure. Well, we, we've got Pernicious Deed in our deck. We can also just play a pretty Oh, well, you just, play, you just play Other Channeler um, during the loop. Um, the second, oh, because um, the 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 first trigger off Cavern Harpy is free. You don't have to activate it. Ability. Yeah. So this turn we're looking at. I would. Um, it's interesting. They could what? have. Yeah, I would wait until we find. Because uh, they they. They could play something problematic with Aluren, so I would. How do you feel about I Witness would, into Ponder? Yeah. Off of our basic forest here. Yeah. Green, green, green. So let's get a little bit deeper into our deck. So if we can find the euro, then we kind of. I would keep the brainstorm and the fetch land, actually. That's. A yeah, lot well, of... we've got this dried arbor that's sort of just taking up room in our hole. Same yeah. with the, um, the, the cabal therapy is something we can use to clear the way as well, getting a black yeah. source off of this. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter which. Uh, we've already played land for 10, so it doesn't really matter which way. Let's put the brainstorm on top. And then we... Yeah, we'll just pass again. Uh, this time we can attack for free. Uh, yeah. It's one less loop we have to go through with the Strix later on. Again, their Welder can attack us, but we're also not bothered about that. So. And I I would take that trade if they attack the Welder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seems unlikely they will. Okay, so they've just got no mana. So we kind of hit them with our mana both games, two and three here. Yeah, that's... It's... it's yeah. Oof is pretty devastating to their mana base. Yeah, I would play that out and then brainstorm. Yeah, uh, put the arbor and Probably, a yeah. basic pack, mm -hmm. then shuffle. Um, uh, then we I want would... a black source here, so we're probably looking yeah. at... Um, uh, UC. Yeah. Makes sense and then I would green suns for Uro. 
Uh, so this area is going to go back into our graveyard, though, right? Graveyard, yeah. Yeah. Is that going to be a problem for us? Not really. I've only got six minutes on the clock, so... Need to be a bit quicker about some plays here. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, so then next... Yeah, we should be good uh, in two turns. So, yeah. We, we, we escape... Uh, we, we would escape Uro and then play Lurin. I would also just just use um, use this mana and um, name Pyroblast. Have we, have we got a black source we can get? Actually, um, we got actually I would name... Yeah, I don't want Painter in their graveyard, so I would name... Uh, Pyroblast. So yeah. Right. Um, we got the Bayou. There's a Bayou in that kit. Mind Break Trap. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, so uh, there we go. It's usually not super good against our deck, but... I guess when you're sort of casting all your creatures with your loop and stuff. It Yeah, it is It is pretty easy to play around, like... But I guess now we know it's there, it's a lot worse. Yeah. And we have a free creature to hit with the... Yeah. Is that another alert? Um, so probably start yeah, I would, off with I would just, hit. I would just play... Or, uh, oh, no, it's exiled, isn't Uro. it, from the Mindbreak Trap, isn't it? Um, um, yeah, just play Uro. Just escape the old Uro. Uh... Blue, blue. Let's get our lad back. Okay. Back up our own in case they pyroblast it. Um. Yeah, I would just chip in and pass turn. Yeah, I would just F six on their turn if if they do anything. Mm. Um. That mind break trap is uh, interesting to me, but because we have the Arctic Murphy, we should. Oh, that's that's good to. S well, they okay. They're gonna weld in the torpor orb, so that's that's problematic so i would i would i would swing out here yeah well like we've just got the aggro win here right um yeah probably um and i would combo if necessary if they bring in the torpor orb oh there's decay um yeah i would just i would just aggro them out here um we could we could win but it's if we Just play the Allure, it gives our opponent time. the chance of maybe putting yeah, something it's, like it's, blockers it's, or whatever. It's, yeah, it's safer here. If we had a, if we had a recruiter, I would go for it, but. Um, but also just in the interest of time, because this yeah this is gonna be a to a very click intensive, um, because you like in paper I would be able to go through this pretty fast, but yeah, you just show them that you assemble the loop and okay. yeah, but there's there's gonna be a lot of back and forth um that would take like. 12 seconds in paper, but three minutes. Uh, do you just play out the Cavern Harpy here. here just as another uh, creature? To, um, well, that would have to just bounce in row. I would, oh, I, I, would suppose kick, um, I would kick... Um, I would kick and replay Witness. Uh, sure. To present lethal. Uh, yeah, I would decay their... Uh, yeah, I would decay their... Oh. Torpor yeah. Orb and then play Witness. Uh, uh, it's going to be one of... Oh, it's going to be one of the, the other one. Hmm. Oh, oh, I played the wrong land. Until, I tapped the wrong land. I yeah. didn't that. Yeah, so I'm just yeah. trying to get the game yeah. done, and I haven't really changed yeah. our clock at all. So that's a bit silly. A lot going on, but uh, we can witness back our abrupt decay if they have anything. Yeah. So yeah. we got the match. Uh, it took us a lot of time, but again, it's a lot. Yeah, of this, this matchup is a lot of this matchup has a lot of thinking involved. So. I, I love that matchup. All right, um, All right. pretty happy with how that one went, obviously, because we got a win. But I feel it sh we showcased kind of two halves of the deck here in a, in a lot of ways. Yeah. So we just had like. Uro just being a good magic card is is pretty handy. All right, yeah. but, and, and, and our sideboarding really came clutch in the second game, especially. Yeah. But also, this one as well, we shot off their mana. So. All right, let's jump into the second round. So we've got some free interaction. We've this, got Brainstorm to help us out. If we this need might to. be a hand where um, I would get... Uh, where I would plan to get Recruiter and cast Snuff... Or get, get Rector and Snuff out on it. Yeah. Because we've got two Recruiters. Noble Hierarch. Right. This could be an effect. Okay. So I'm just playing out a fetch land here. Yeah. So the next time we can fetch am... brainstorm. Or yeah, if we I'm... need if we need an emergency snuff out. I don't think we want to yeah. snuff out the Hierarch. Yeah. I don't but we maybe want to snuff out whatever they Would they play like Blighted Ages or something? This could be in fact or it could just be some blue green deck with a mana dork. Yeah, it could be like one of those weird stasis builds that like Bosch and Roll was playing. Occasionally see like Spillover from Bosch and Roll and Thraben News channels onto uh, 
onto leagues. Some of the weird and wonderful stuff they play. I think we'll get a better idea in a second. Underground Sea, okay. Could be an Aluren deck. Could be. Could just be Bug. Um, bug something. Um, since we have two brainstorms, I'm just end up fetch land. I'm just gonna bring. I would brainstorm aggressively here. Yeah. I would just grab um, the basic islands. Oh, that's great. So yeah, I would put um, Arbor away. And uh, well, actually, hmm, I'm cause... trying to think if I would. We have a second brainstorm. So then, yeah, I would put the the misty on top. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really matter what the other card is because we're going to draw yeah. anyway. But the arbor is the one we yeah. don't want here, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, now I would I would consider. I would I would see what they do, so I would I would pass. Uh, if they have a Luren, we can kind of go off anyway. Yeah, we. They're we can, if they are a Luren, then it. And it kind of helps yeah. us out. I, I have no idea what the Allure and Mirror would be like. That sounds like a it's, lot of... It's, an, it's another game of chicken. It's... <laughs> this could also be like um, some sort of weird Maverick build, because I know they've been trying all sorts of stuff. Uh, Naval Hierarchy. This just, just looks like some bug deck with with dorks and such. Okay, attack for three by Battle for Strix, though. Let's do that every day. Okay, oh, okay they okay. are Allure and... All right, so let them, let them play the Harpy. Um... Interesting. Okay. So we um, we can so we can ours, bail for strix away can, that. Yeah, because we have yeah, but we have. We want to crack this anyway because yeah. we don't want to draw the cards yeah. on top of our library. So this is going to get us a swamp and. Um, since they're a learn, I'm I would get I would get non basic. So I would get. Um, I guess I, it's uh, got to be Bayou or C here, right? It's probably Bayou. Bayou, or, yeah. Because then we have double green if we want to cast. Yeah. Although whether or not we want to yeah. cast in Luren, I don't know. I don't know, think we want to brainstorm not, like not yet. We can do it in our main phase and get one card deeper. Yeah, there okay, you go. That's exactly right. Um, so we're we um, just going to hit the bell for Strix with this and see what our opponent's working yeah. with. Yes. That'd be my line. I love Cabal Therapy. It's my favorite discard spell. Oh, it's it's in I this deck is incredibly the Cabal Therapy is an insane card. Like any deck that can leverage it should. Double parasitic oh, Strix. They have two. Okay, so. I'm hmm, okay. That's a very good hand for them. Um, this is going to be interesting. Then I would play out the Misty, um, and we could I brainstorm. Would then we could pack. fetch a Dryad Arbor and then hit the Strixes. Um, we could, yeah. Um, well, we want the therapy to flashback Rector, but I want to make sure we have the correct interaction. Yeah. So I would, I would just pass here. Yeah, well, we can do the brainstorm stuff in their turn anyway. And we get a better feel for what we might need. So it's going to come in for four. Right, they're going to try and force us to do something with, with all these attacks. Um, yeah, I think depending on depending on this brainstorm, we might go next turn. I'm curious to see what they do. Okay, they're playing that out. All right. Um, yeah. Just I think we're just happen. brainstorming in turn. Yeah. Have a little look, see what's coming up. Force okay, that's excellent. That's excellent. Okay. So I would, you want to draw the forest. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't need the second island. All right. We should be able to win to power through what they have because we have recruiter. Um, so we want to draw the forest, don't we? Yeah. We're going to play out the forest. This gets us a tundra. Nebra, yeah. And. A play rector. The only problem is they get to. I, 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 yeah. This is gonna be uh, our our combo is better, and we have therapy too, so that'll force their har their other harpy onto the stack, and they'll bounce their other harpy. It'll go onto the stack, then we'll combo off in response. Oh, a force oh. Of will, but we have a force of will. So. What did they pitch? Parasitic Strix. Hmm. Uh, yeah. We have to force back. They've only got cavern harpy in hand, right? So. Yeah. So we've got this as far as I can make out here. Yeah. Uh, they do have the ability to do some Cavern Harpy, but as soon as the Parasitic Strix goes on the stack, we win. Uh, we we want to respond while the Harpy is on the stack. So we're going to... But they have two Harpies, so they can just bounce this. But we have back. two Recruiters. So you're going to want a Therapy right here and get them to play the other Harpy. So we're going to get ourselves a Lurin. Okay, so pass priority, see what they do. Okay, name Cavern Harpy. Gone. Um, 
now play one of the recruiters. Sure. Okay. So when they, they when, as soon as they put the cavern harpy on the stack on the stack, yeah. And then we can just play the other recruit and win. Yep. And now we now we win in response. Because this guy gets us another recruiter first. Um. Well, we know they have no cards, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I would just get merfolk. <laughs> Take well. <laughs> <laughs> I think they know what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, conceding from the game, yeah. That's very funny. Thank you for the concession, man. Saving us click through it. Um, um, okay. Now, the mirror is the mirror is strange. So, do I'm we... gonna, you want to board out one Aluren, because we can use theirs. Uh, you want to bring in Leovold, because that will make... Their draw engine will, harder, yeah. Not, well, not even that, too. It'll, they'll have to know how to... It's... Leo, playing through with the uh, the bug version on MTGO is with a Leovold in play is very hard. Um, so I would bring in um, I bring in Plague Engineer because they can't um, the bug version is weak to weak to Plague Engineer. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Uh. What we want to remove um i think i'm thinking about cutting stuff out um because the removal is not good against them the channel doesn't feel amazing either. obviously it does other text no like, you want you stuff. want you you want an extra combo piece okay so i would i would cut um i would cut snuff out okay both snuff outs and bring in a surgical and i would run out like that yeah yeah. Um, actually, I'd cut the vet too and bring in another surgical. Well, well we can do that. It doesn't matter so much. That's fine. We don't have to worry about our mana base being under attack, but we need to b use both of our fetches. So ideally, we'd like to have a brainstorm yeah. early on to make use of these fetches we do have. But they'll they'll also have to play tentatively because yeah, unless un depends if they're playing like hand disruption. They probably reminds me a bit. We of also playing... have we also have surgical, which is a free peak, which is really really good in this yeah matchup. reminds me a little bit of like the painter mirror where you like board out a load of your painter's servants yeah and hope for the best uh i just play out for delta i think it's fine here yeah pass. Pass. so they got their leave old shot we can stonewall it for a bit with the bells and strix though although we don't get the card if we play the strix is the only issue um is it worth having yeah, a one one i think, we, I think we, we have to because they're gonna start clocking for four we don't need to worry about fetching on basics here. I know. Uh, so well, they, they've already fetched a drop, so I know they're not playing back to base. And this one needs to be probably underground C. Uh, I would get the Bayou, but okay. We have the basic planes in our hands, so yeah, we don't need uh, blue, black. Let's have a little guy. It's just a one-one. Well, the turn two Leovold is very good though. Um, so they might have just pivoted onto like a more aggressive plan anyway. Yeah, away from the combo because we're yeah, better cause at the combo, combo than they are, so they're than... going to be better at the aggro yeah. in theory, right? Yeah. Breed oh, you got a lot of owls. I see. So they can throw the owls at us instead of yeah. the Leovold. All right. What do we got for a deck? An Uro. That's good. So yeah, I would. I would. Um, I would just. I would just play it for the ramp. Yeah. Even. Uh, I'm going to play off the plane so we can keep our delta for future yeah. brainstorms. Yeah. Green, blue, one. There's Leovold doing some work, though. Oh, yeah, he's very good. Uh, we can also present... Uh, we could present the Rector um, next turn, but... The pass. It uh, feels worrying, throwing out Rectors and stuff. Yeah. Brainstorm. Our brainstorms are less good, but if we can get the Leovold of the table, we can unlock that. It was fine. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would just dump dump the rector because you don't even have to get Aluren, but it could threaten that we have it, even though we don't. Um, yeah, I would just play it out. Then it might beta force or something. Okay, I'll let it go. Yeah. Taking on two, we could offset that with an hero soon anyway. Dry it out. Not the most exciting one there. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, I just play Arbor and pass. 
Uh, would it be an idea to have like a singleton um, pernicious deed to tutor for with the rector in this sort of matchup? Um, yeah, now that I know that they have Leobold, I might. Um, well, we can... Yeah, Leobold. Yeah, deed would be better than um, better than the vet. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So they got four cards and they're representing hard cast force as well. He's taking over two. We don't really care about this damage. Like Cabal Therapy. However, if we do draw, we do have Channeler, and if we draw a Recruiter or something, we're we're in good shape. We want to play our lands out just so we can yep. get closer to Uro. One, two, three, four. So we could try and uh, throw our Dried Arbor in and see if they'll kill it, so we can replay, so we can play our Uro. Yeah. I don't hate yeah. that as a strategy because this isn't really doing anything otherwise. I suspect they'll just take the one. Yeah. They know what we're up to. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Okay, many elves. Well, now now would be a good place to draw play. I normally wouldn't name bird. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> usually a, a the wrong move. But <laughs> it's hard to turn down a nice three for one, isn't it? Yeah. Cabal therapy. Okay, that's very good. Um, so what we're gonna do here um is bounce their Leovold with the channel. With the channeler, yeah. and then. And then therapy it away. Uh, so, okay, these. They're three. gonna draw a card off of it, but we'll get to see what they have, and what they have may not matter. Now they have been representing the force of will for a while, so this could be a hard cast force. Well, yeah. Bounce Leovold. They will draw a card. There it goes. And yeah. then can so therapy, therapy it away. Sack the arbor. We could have used it for mana, but. Well, this is just the one from hand, anyway. So. Oh, this is the one from hand, yeah. It's so, leveled. Um, yeah, we can... I would... Hmm. That's quite the, quite the hand of things there. Many allurins. Do I... The question is... Do I... Uh, that's tough. I'm tempted to flashback and take... Channeler? Yes. That'd be my. Yeah. Uh, so we can sack our. Yeah. Do we don't want to sacrifice our rector here, do we? No. Okay. No, this, is, this is getting the force of will. Well, yeah. Sure, that's yeah. fine. Um. So next time we can. We can. Right. We can. Uh, yeah, we can also surgical. Um, their force of will, but I might save it. Yeah. Well, we can um, wait until we. I would do we that. Need... I would. Yeah. We, we we can wait before we're going to cast a spell before surgical yeah. anyway. We can force to take a little bit of damage in the air here. We can trade off a Strix, depending on yeah. how we feel. So this might just be bounce my own Strix, play my own Strix from our opponent. Yeah. So I drew a land for the turn. Yeah, block one. Now we can get punished a little bit for that if they have like a, an Uro that they can field. Yeah. Yep. But I think we have to be relatively conscious of our life tool here. Yeah. 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 So they're bouncing the bird like we thought they would. Click that. It's gone out of the hand. So they got three Allurans in hand and whatever this draws them. A Shardless Agent. Oh, sure, oh, that's interesting. Okay. They hit Ponder. It's a pretty good one. I think uh, Mengucci was playing the Shardless Agent build, wasn't he? With yeah, um, the I, I'm not super high on the card anymore. I mean, I mean, I liked... It's. I mean, it's a good card, but I feel like... It is a little, like the cards you want to hit are three. Oh, that's okay. That's very good. So, um, here, so we know their hand is three alluring. They have a ponder. Uh, the ponder's so gone. I would, I would surgical, I would surgical them. Um, right. I would surgical them right now. Want to take the um... take their force of will. Yeah, I'm just working if we pay mana for this or not. Uh, so we're gonna crack we're gonna crack an our fetch land because we want to cast an yeah. arrow anyway. So we've got blue, blue, green, green. So this gets us a yeah. blue or a green mana, right? Uh, yeah. We don't need a tundra anyway. No. So we just get an island here. So we've got blue, no. blue, green, green. So we can use the black for yeah. the surgical here and save yeah. ourselves two life. And check. Uh, force and of check. will. Check. Yeah, force of will. Check their hand. So they drew an arrow. They have an arrow. Um. So that. Could I? I still think we should go for it, because they're they can't rip. Um, yeah, I would I would still go for it. What? So I can um, combo with just these two guys, right? Yeah. 
for a little so bit. So I would play out. I would play out a learn. I keep a blue mana untapped in case we draw like brainstorm or something. Yeah. Or we can like brainstorm into a force or something. Um. And yeah, I would just I would just jam, and. Like they've got a draw, so we can see a what draw. it is. Yeah. And then if they don't hit anything for this, they'll concede. Presumably. Probably, yeah. I mean, it, it is possible we whiff, but it's unlikely. Okay, so I didn't hit Harpy. Yeah, bounce the Channeler. Just draws us a card. Yeah. Um, and then the Harpy can bounce it. Yeah. All right. I think I've got the hang of this a little yep. bit. Don't want to set too premature, really. But... We've got a number of things that would that we can hit that would win us the game. Veil of Veil, Summer. that's fine. Uh, do we brainstorm? Um, no, just let it happen. We just win on their upkeep. Draw a card. Uh, that's that's nice. I would just cast that out and name Harpy. Is Beast a better name or is it Harpy? Um, against against Bug, you name Harpy. Against uh, against um against uh White, so, it depends. So we can just carry on doing this anyway. Yeah. Uh, so they can't be targeted by blue or. Yeah, um, we just we just we just draw it and, yeah, we just want to set up while they're tapped out. Okay. Just got to kind of go through this loop a few times. Oh, they don't. They don't know. Hmm? They they said sir. <laughs> um. Like it's it's just safe while well, they're. Okay, that's a good card to get. I haven't got a lot of life left to work with here. Yeah. Um but we've got we've got some free um Okay, there we go. So um, we can do it in their upkeep. Uh, yeah, I would uh, yeah, on their upkeep I would pass the turn. Yeah, so I would okay. So that's what they drew. Yep, there we go. Sure. That's that's the mirror. <laughs> right. So two 0 We yeah. out comboed the mirror. Happy with that? So onwards to another one. So we got a bit of removal, we got four yeah, protection, we got no road to sort of settle us into the mid game. Seems fine to me. It's annoying that this isn't that this isn't a blue land day, but Yeah, I know. Can't have it all. I'll just play catacombs and pass. Yeah. We can now protect ourselves from wastelands. That's a good draw. Now we've got the Cabal Therapy, so we've got Allure in lockdown between these two cards, yeah. right? So And we just need one more piece to be able to go off with the Ura in as well. End of turn brainstorms. So this makes me think our opponents either got a bit of a ropey hand that needs fixing, or they're on a combo deck. Yeah. Two balls. Then Delver. Counter balance. Counter -offs. Um. I. Hmm. Like we can force and play around days here. We lose our brainstorm for it though. But I we do have the pitch, Uro to be good. I would pitch Uro actually. Yeah. I would pitch Uro. Okay. I sort of think of that as one of our combo pieces, but we have a lot of combo pieces. So yeah, there's, a lot there's of so much to go into the yeah. deck. I'd I'd rather I'm I think hitting our land drops. Land drops is more important. Right. Yeah, play the forest, pass. Yeah, we don't really need to do anything with our brainstorm yet. If that was a fetch land, then we could do like a a brainstorm on our opponent's turn that yeah. way. But I don't really want to unless it becomes an emergency. Just delve with main deck counterbalance. Yeah. Oh yeah, it could be the. the <laughs> The Delver, the Delver deck that beats Delver. Yeah, I guess you got to find your <laughs> edges somewhere. That's a right? sign of a healthy meta game. <laughs> yeah, I think the stats are between Delver and uh, Initiative. They make up over forty-five percent of the meta now. Yeah, Ooh, I, I want to snuff that out right now. Um, well, we can do it on their turn, or once we play the Bayou. But I, I, I would, I am a big fan of killing that on site. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't want to let them. No, I get um, from me on that. Dump one. things in their graveyard. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, I would play that. And Snuff this out first before casting yeah. the spells. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I were them, I would be playing. I am afraid right at this stage of the game. Max I'm afraid region. of Mark Guide. Yeah. yeah. And we have another one we can fire if we need to anyway. Yeah. But getting non basics isn't great against Delver, obviously. Engineered explosives date. Well, that's. A Oh, that's not a very good hand. Um, that's yeah, a weird one. Pass. Yeah. Now that maybe that's why they brainstormed. Um, yeah, I would just pass the turn. 
Yeah, we don't need to do anything here. We've got days that's very weak when we're when we know it's there because we can play around it for free more yeah. or less because they got no pressure either. So yeah, they do have a removal spell. They can point at a guy and they can play down a explosive at some point. I'm not super scared. Oh god, I hate I, I hate that that's a thing. Why shouldn't the tempo deck in the format also have the biggest <laughs> creature and the best card advantage engine? Uh, a ledger trader, not a bad top deck for them. It gives them some pressure. Yeah. But we know all the cards in their hand, so there is that. I'm considering it. This, well, they have days, but oh, that's okay. They have, that, that's what I was thinking about doing. So I just absolutely slam that. Um. And take. I would take their unholy. Wait, um, engineered. They they cap out at what for engineered explosives? Two. Yeah, um, there's a possibility they could have a third color in there. I don't. I don't really care about engineered explosives. I would. I would take the unholy heat. Or that. Um. Well, we're about to get out of danger days range, so I would just take the unholy. Heat. Makes sense to me. Better. That's fine. Um. Now here I would get a planes. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. They they dump the explosive. Got the planes so, and planes and an island. island. Yeah. And I daemon holy. No, we've got another cabal therapy if we need it for something. No, they're playing the days. Okay. Uh, okay. So they, yeah. So they, they. I think they're suspecting that we have a learn. So, yeah, pay for the days. It's just a free. It's free ones pay for. Uh, does it matter what uh, color we pay for? Um, I would tap with the island because I want to play the recruiter. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So then we're gonna snap. Uh, oh, they have another the two, two mystic sanctuary. Um, yeah, I mean, we we got to take the iteration, so... We just um, put our therapy in them into the dirt, but yeah. they, they can Mystic Sanctuary next turn anyway. Is that even worth doing? Yeah, that's point? still... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'd play the Recruiter. So I would fetch, um, fetch a basic forest. Not, um, oh, I guess we, we want to make sure we have double green in case yeah. they wasteland us. Yeah, yes. That makes sense. Um... What do we get is the question, because we've got a few options. Um, I th so this is where I would, I'm, I plan on slow rolling, because we have a lot of mana. I would slow roll the combo without a learn, so I would get Merfolk. Because um, they can't, if we get Chandler, they they can sort of fizzle it easily. Oh, so, so you can I kind want... of just assemble the, the combo. Yeah, just assemble just... the, yeah, assemble it. In and just play. do it with the mana instead this of is, doing yeah, This is one of the advantages of, since I added basic planes. Because for a while I was like, I never use, I never use, I never want to fetch this Savannah. And I, sometimes I want basic planes to be able to fix, like, awkward hands against uh, mana denial. And so we can sort of leverage that here. Okay, there's a double expressive iteration in this turn. Not bad. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so I'm glad we get the therapy. What do they discard there? A Merktide Regent. Okay, so getting a DRC. And there's the Volcanic. And the Bauble. Okay. This is starting to get concerning, so I might fire off the Brainstorm next turn. Yeah, slow run the combo isn't going to be able to beat what they've got on there now. Yeah, they've... So have to yeah, I mean you can't expressive iteration and expressive iteration is is we were looking good, but like if you just draw seven cards like that, it's, the game changed a little bit. We can have the bubble, and then okay, see. that's not bad. I think so we I still would, start with the brainstorm. Yeah, we don't have a second blue source, which is a little bit awkward. Okay, we found our so second blue source. Put put away, yeah, put away the force. Um, and do you want cabal therapy and then force um yeah we want to draw the therapy but i we don't want to do it this turn so i would or um because we're going to get to see one of these cards again because we cast the strix yeah that's true um so yeah we're going to cast the strix um is it one of these things that we're not doing anything with right yeah. now yeah i would put i would actually i don't want force at all you don't want force at all no okay we're gonna have to power for it at some point, I suppose. Aren't yeah. We? Play out the bill for Strix. So blue and a black. Get ourselves a little card deeper. So. It does pump that guy, but we have a death touch going the for it. The plan here is to. Is to sort of. This is. Now I'm gonna race to resolve Rector 
can flash it back since we have therapy. Because we we have two bounce creatures, so that's like having another recruiter. Mm -hmm. we'll pass. Yeah, I feel we can probably win with an allure in here. Yeah. Pain cost. A oh, lightning bolt. Is this on oh, our bolt strix? Bolt strix. Okay, that's very good. It's not giving us a lot of time. Kind of need another mana source really from somewhere. I'm not sure we're going to have that mana source. Because we know the top card of our library is Force. This is a two turn clock. Yeah. Um, we might end up getting in a horrible situation where we have to channel her to stay alive. Yeah. Yeah. I. Sometimes Delver wins by top decking cards that should be banned. <laughs> Sometimes Silver wins that way. <laughs> I don't I don't know why expressive iteration has been legal for this long. Oh my god. Like yeah. they've seen an awful lot of their deck compared to us. Yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah, this is an attack for ten that puts us to one. So they can kill us this turn with a bolt. Yeah. Which is a bit, bit mean, but sure. Have another draw for next turn. If they put anything on top. They put yeah. one card on top of level. Okay, so we're dead this turn, I would have to imagine, yeah. right? Yeah. And the bolt finishes off. I'll draw it in our turn off of the bauble trigger. Yeah. I guess we can force it, but we're still not beating this anyway. I don't think yeah. we have any recourse to win this game. No. I think we should just save our time. Yeah. Okay, so we have drawn Forest Wheel, which is awful in this matchup. Yeah, we don't want to be too for warning ourselves. Leovold, I assume, um, is good here, right? It does like to bolt, uh, but it stops some brainstorming. But I guess it doesn't I've... stop iteration, though, so... Yeah, that's, that's one of the... I think I want... Well, it's three carpets yeah. and one of either Endurance or Leovold, but I'd rather um, have Endurance than Leovold. Endurance, yeah, yeah, that's what I would. That's what I would run. Sometimes, um, I'm, since they did play the Counterbalance, um, I might want Leovold actually over Rector. Um, if they were on, that's yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I cut Rector, and sometimes I don't in this matchup. Well, I mean, we, we, they've got main deck counterbalance. They're probably likely to have it post board as well. So I can yeah, certainly see. Yeah. So I would, I would, I would bring in Leavold. That's a pretty, that. pretty straightforward cut there. Yeah. All right. Let's give this a whirl. Yeah. I like, I, I mean, I like our chances in this matchup. But, like, you draw, that's great. You draw, if you cast expressive iteration, force, like, you're gonna beat most stacks. <laughs> So I want to lead out on forest carpet here. Well, yeah. Because... Um, I might play... Well, I'd say we're on the play, so yeah, forest yeah. carpet. Because yeah. then they can't daze it. They have to force a will or bust. So at the very worst, it's like a little hint yeah. to Turek. And they're certainly not a deck that can play around carpet of flowers. No. All right. Okay, that's got good. force pitching force. Okay, so... Oh, that's fine. We already have... We have good... We have good mana. We're not relying on it. Yeah. It was a good piece of bait. That also would be nice if we had... <laughs> we can get basic island and ponder next turn. Yeah, that's what I would do. Probably off the ton. Uh, do we do we get off the flood strand or the misty? Mm. We already have one. I I kind of want to have the flooded strand to be able to fetch the planes. The planes. And we kind of might want the second green off of the misty. Yeah. To actually cast um, lure, which might mean we're doing it off the delta. We we can do it off the delta. Is is. This easier. gives us a swamp to cast our. Yeah, I, I, I would, I would. Um, well, we're definitely not using actually, the misty for it now. So. Now, now I would, now I'd get the flooded strand. Yeah, I would get the, I would, yeah, play an island and get an island potter. We can do this around days. They might just cast a Merktide Regent next turn though. Uh, this doesn't I seem want any therapy, good. Therapy, but I, I want the therapies, but I really don't want those lands. So yeah. I would shuffle it. Okay, that's very good. All right. Yeah. That's a card that's bigger than some of the things in the deck, at least. But not all of them. Maybe we can leverage this uh, endurance. Yeah. If they don't merc tide us this turn, looks like they're not merc tiding us. Okay. I don't think we can cast this into a daze either, though. Yeah, I would play. I would. I would just slam a row here. To get to four. Uh, if they daze it, that's fine. Do we want to do it off of a forest on this and then put this in, which can get us a swap yes. of our therapy? Yes. Get a get a basic forest. Yeah. Like stifle is a thing that does exist at the moment, but. It's usually the rug builds of Delver that play them. So we want a basic forest, we can cast forest. the endurance Bro. in a bit. Get ourselves big boy. They could pyroblast this as well. It's something they might have, but it's fine. Brainstorm in response. Okay, so they brainstorm before they know about the Cabal Therapy, which is probably good for us. Yeah, we did play it last game, but... Um... Yeah, but well, they know we'd, we'd, rather than yeah. 
brainstorming response, just casting it, sort of thing. Okay, that's very good. So, do you want to um, compile therapy into a daze, no. or do we want to wait? Uh, I think we probably can wait here. Yeah, I would wait. We have a I would, I would, to I would therapy the and then then endurance next turn. I wouldn't name days because we can just play around it at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, but we don't want to we don't want to play it when they can can yeah. days our therapy sort of thing. Yeah. All right. If we draw a land, then it's oh, that's, uh, that's we probably. But yeah, I would. I would still want to stick to the same plan. So, I would fetch fetch a swamp. Do we just want to cast endurance out first? Yeah. And then worry, and then. Yeah. Cabal therapy. We're, or, no, no. Um, so fetch the swamp. Because we'll know if they have days, if they if they either daze the therapy or when we look at their hand. So what are we naming here? Days. Like, days. You want to name the days? Yeah. Hull Hull creature. creature. Interesting. Um, okay. Um, uh, what we got here? Instant artifact, land, sorcery. So the unholy you can just snap off our endurance. We will get the trigger. Mm. So I would I would play parasitic tricks here. It, we, since we don't have a black, since we don't have a black permanent, it, it won't trigger. Well, just as so, a two two here. Um, yeah, to flash back the therapy oh, okay. and make them play, um, make them play Hellbreacher. Yeah, it's fine. Um, now do I? Expressive iteration um, or the unholy heat, right? Uh, we can kind of use the tricks to sit it around. Yeah, I would stuff. take the iteration. Not even just with an holy heat channel, I mean. Yeah. Um, pass. We can get we that can back to fitness. Try and get ourselves a. We can wipe their graveyard soon to stop Merc Tides. But Phil if, we also just rip, if we just rip a lure in here, then we win too. So. Yeah. We hit us for three. It's annoying that we don't have a white source for just casting the recruiter if we wanted to do that. But. Well, therapy again, mm. so we can um, get rid of this. Yeah, I would take. I would. Yeah, I would take the unholy heat and then try and yep. beat them in combat with an Aluren. Yeah, uh, with a endurance, endurance on yeah. Aluren. and a pyro blast. Okay, pyro blast. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to attack. Yeah. So we could do it in our, in their upkeep to dodge stuff, but I think because this has to attack no, anyway. I, but I if want, we want to kill the whole yeah. creature, we I want to kill the whole creature. Their, we have to fade whatever their draw step is, basically. Okay, they're going straight away. Just that. One. Okay, so they think we have endurance, but we'll block anyway. This means they don't have an answer to the endurance, otherwise yep. they attack with both. Yeah. Then we'll make time for you. At least for like one turn, maybe. I have a long yep. take you to fill up your graveyard. <laughs> Not being able to draw through the whole bridge was a little bit annoying. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I would just take their pyroblast and pass. You think it's worth a cabal therapy with the pyroblast right now? Yes. Okay. So, so I got a force of That's fine. Uh, they're a little bit ways off of casting that for a five mana. I don't want to attack. I just want to keep this guy back away from us. Ponder. We're not redoing these turns. We can try to save that clock a bit. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> sure. It's a good card. So they can cast a Merc Tide next turn. Yep. Um, yeah, I would... It's annoying because it gives me I would, down, but I don't really care. Um, I would, yeah, I would just play out of Elvis Tricks. Do you reckon we're attacking now, or we still want to just go back? Uh, yeah, I would, I would, I would attack with the endurance. I guess we can force them to use a removal spell on the Strix if they want to. Yeah. Attack. I'm just worried about the treasure because it means they drop a land. They can hard cast Force of Will as an option. We do obviously have the Cabal Therapies to. Flash yeah, back I'm strikes, not super but... concerned at this stage, unless they like play is a is a Staticaster. I haven't seen that one for a while. Ponder. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, sure. we do have the, we do have the tools to deal with that, unless they just slam a bunch of threats. Um, although we do have Uro if we draw land, which is I don't hate where we're at. Yeah, it's um, the downside of playing around wasteland is we're in a situation we can't cast the arrow when we were sort of in a draw yeah, ghost stage. I, yeah, but I I'd take that every day. It's much better than just not being able to play the game because you've got wasteland. Yeah. Sometimes you don't necessarily get the choice and you just have to lean into all your non-basics, but we had a pretty yep. good spread that we could afford to play all these basics. A learn here still probably wins us the game. Okay, ponder. Oh, uh, we can... Eh? Hmm. It's rearranging it. the top three cards of our library good enough. Um, to give them a treasure. 
Yes, I think it is. Not a nice situation to be in, Mr. Holbreacher. Um, hmm. So the Vernon Catacombs gives us a ring. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I want. I want the catacombs, and yeah, the rest doesn't matter so much. Like we can get Tundra, so we can cast Recruiter as well. Uh, not off catacombs, but um. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, we can't get the catacombs. No, can we? Uh, um, so we don't. We definitely don't. Playing, want to being able to play Uro several times is still good. Uh. Yeah. So we're good. And... We're we're only drawing one of these. Yeah. And that's going to be next turn, sadly. Yeah. Um, but Uro is harder for them to deal with. And we can cast it twice. Maybe we can get enough beats in with this endurance. I have to imagine they've got something up. They just had a whole turn drawing cards, but Yeah. Make sure we've got enough clock to play a third game if we can get one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we might hit some doubles with this we, therapy. So, so we we shuffled their graveyard into uh into their library and they've already seen more yeah. cards than we have again. So bit awkward. There's a reason why like one of the only decks that's got like a good share of the meta right now, apart from initiative, is the the other deck that needs banning. So, <laughs> sure all right. So this can get out of hand pretty quick, but we do have the Baffle Strix for it. Yeah, I'm not super concerned about it. I would still, um, I'd still attack with the endurance here because they'd have to, um, they cast two spells. That's fine. Just gonna take okay, it. So they take it. And right. I would flash back. With, with what is the question? Uh, with endurance. Use endurance for it, yeah. Yeah. So we know they have um, force of will, so we want to yeah. name. Force yeah, of and that's a card we care about. So. Because we want to get our arrow into play. This might just get a force of will, which is fine. Oh, okay. interesting. Uh, we're playing the old brainstorm. Cabal still, still, I don't, I don't care. It's still naming force of will. Yeah. Um. Because if you don't and they have it, you look like an idiot. Yeah. And the thing we're trying to play around is getting our ruin to play, and we can play around a day. It's yeah. just a force. Yeah, they could have Pyro Blast, but that's also fine. We have. Oh, that's that's actually. I'm super... Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Um. Still naming force because now Pyro Blast off the table. Yep. Ooh, Ashiok is terrifying. Um. Okay. Um. That might be a change. So I am actually, I am tempted to to play Uro and to sacrifice it to therapy to take Ashiok. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so you probably want uh, Trop or Underground Sea here. Uh, Trop probably. I'm not... So blue. Blue, green, green. Just get rid of uh, so ponder. Doesn't really matter as long as it's in not, there. Yeah. It's not the uh, stuff we're going to be getting back with witness. So it's window as a card, sadly. Yeah, three lives, not nothing. But Ashiok is. Is it worth doing the? Do you think it's worth cabal therapy now? Yes. Even though absolutely. we've got like a lethal threat on board. Uh, ab absolutely. I'm very scared of Ashiok. Okay. They have a lot of ways to... They'll just bounce it otherwise. Yeah. So I, I would want to take the Ashiok. Which one is it? Dream Render, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably a one of. So that card is extremely good against my deck. Yeah. All right. We can take a few hits from these little guys. Yeah. It's probably three turn clock, I would imagine. Yeah. We have a lot of... Uh, we have a lot of outs to draw. Okay, they're though. playing a true name. That's another guide for us to worry about. But if we cast a lure in. Yeah, we should be good. We can't brainstorm into it or anything, unfortunately, because of the no. whole reach. But we haven't seen one yet, yeah. so it feels yeah. like we do one, right? And they don't have two mana for the petty theft. That's a good draw. So um, we... I would. Yeah, I would snuff out for free um, the Paul Breacher. And then play the strips. And then cast... Um, uh, let's see. That would put us to what? Eight. Um, see, Eight lives. That's still that's bounce, three hits they can from bounce, the... They can bounce the Strix, though. So I might want I think I would rather play Uro. 
what snuff out this and then play the array. Yeah. Right. I can see that. You can also draw a land too. So. Yeah. Well, it gets us deeper into our deck, which is something we've yep. been desperately trying to do. Blue, blue, green, green. Uh, leave the parasitic strix and uh, the endurance problem. Oh, we have to take the endurance, I think, don't we? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. We can just leave the strix in there. Sure. Yep. So I can do some more stuff there. Oh, that feels bad. Yeah, they just got lethal on board here, so we're done. Yeah, oh, okay. Sometimes that, you they, drew with... they drew really well. Um, I still, were... don't, still think that matchup's pretty good, but like, they just they just showed the strength of cards that should be banned. <laughs> like, they're also like the slightly bigger version of Delver as well, which is yeah. kind of interesting. So they've got some of these threats which are able to sail over some of our little guys a bit more. The whole breach yeah. did a lot of work against us as well. Yeah, which it did. a lot of Delver decks aren't really running at the moment. So. Yeah, but I think that was I think that's still a pretty good matchup. But yeah, so we've got a com we got I, the combo. We just need some more. Yeah, lines. I'd keep it. I'd keep it, but it, I don't. Yeah, I would just play out a misty and pass. We don't want to expose the explorer to white removal. No, like the one way we can get punished for this is if we um, run into a chalice. If we can't get our yep. explorer down. But if they chalice on one, like I also don't hate that. Because that's kind of a wasted chalice against our deck. Ah, a fan of the channel on the chat. <laughs> okay, so this then I would feels like painter. Okay. No, I I think this is I think it's mono red prison. If they would make that play on, so I I would run out the vet right now. Uh, off then the they don't want to attack with the, the goblin rainforest. Um, hmm. off the off the catacombs. I'd grab a basic forest. And then we're pondering as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basic forest. And this one gets this one. I I still think this could be mono red prison, so I want to I want to get a basic land. Yeah, well I think it's free to get the basic land here anyway. Yeah. Like if they're a red deck, they're probably not exiling our explorer anyway. Actually, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Weird weird time. I don't want to shuffle four <laughs> lands, so I want the planes um, the most. Uh, and we the need the second green. The so yeah. Yeah. That makes sense to me. No shuffle, draw the land. We'll pass. And then if they kill our explorer, then we can go and get some we can get a basic island a basic forest yep. off of that to cast our allure in anyway, and we've yep. got the combo here. As long as our opponent doesn't have a pyroblast or something. Uh they shouldn't be able to beat Pyroblast with this hand. Well, because of the Arctic Mafic, yeah. Uh well yeah, because well, yeah. It's it's like having two recruiters. One of the reasons I think this is uh painter more than the other one is because uh I know a lot of the people in the painting Discord watch my channel because that's where I'm most active chatting. Mm. That's just a bit of uh, an assumption. Uh, okay. Also, there's not a lot of mono red uh, prison at the moment. That's true. But I think Painter came out as the number three deck on um, the weekend challenges. Or the week's challenges, I think. Well, they just start skirted Sokin's hands. Uh, the painting deck sometimes run one Sozzer can just so you can pressure really? to fairies. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do we let them that's... have some mana? Absolutely. I guess we win if they don't win here. Yeah. So, oh, Chestnut. I'm just going to forest in the swamp. So you probably think we're some sort of, like, Nick Fitty type build, rather than... Yeah. Okay, that's Painter, yeah. So you've got five cards in hand. Okay. Another Fable, that's fine. That's, um. Yeah, so they had the mana to combo and kill us there, if they did have it. Okay. I'm not too far away, then. So they're in blue. So they've just got a blue, so that's helpful. So I think we've just got this one, right? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, yep. So uh, we leave the blue up in uh, case we draw something yeah. for that. Play this alone. Yeah. So I would get. Um, I would just get an. I'd play recruiter. Get another recruiter. So they can power blast this one. Is the only okay. Issue. But we get to yeah. if they don't have the win yet, and they're using the saga to try and find the grindstone, we get to go again. Yeah. So yeah. there's no reason not to be jamming the allure in there. Post board, we get to bring in our collector roof and um, deed, yeah. pernicious deed. I do like pernicious deed. It's a real blast from the it's, past. It's so it's so good. Like every time people camp the card out, like it's just welder. Sure. Yeah. So it doesn't look like they have the win this turn. Otherwise, we'd be no. dead. So, but they will have it next turn because of the saga. Yes. So we have to win next turn. Yeah. But they have no cards. Oh, in oh they have no cards in hand. Okay. So yeah. easy peasy. Uh, they got the Might Stone, though. 
uh, which is was uh, there minus are five. Just there, aren't they? Draw two cards, minus five. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So there are Yeah, yeah. Right, no, yeah. Well, we just have the win here, right? Yeah. Seems fine to me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. More Lurens. Get this bad boy. Have this. Yeah. Get another recruiter. Just get more recruiters. Yeah. Then get cold priority. Oh, you could do it that way too, but that's usually better to keep them in hand. Okay. Um, uh, so what do we get with this one? This is a strict one. Because uh, everything's blue harpy. anyway, so. Oh, we get harpy. Yeah. Um. So then we play this, and then with it on the stack, yeah. we do the other stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why is it? I'm holding control, and it didn't go on the stack. Oh. That's interesting. Uh, uh, all right. Well, we can still. They don't have any cards in hand, so we don't really yeah. need to worry about this, do we? They don't have any interaction for us, so we no. can just roll for it the quick way. Uh, so we get the Strix here. Yep. Oh, yeah, the trigger won't trigger unless you have. I need a black the black permit. Don't I? <sighs> yeah. It's it's a the card is phrase weird. But it does let you do some cool stuff, like with therapy, where they don't get priority. Uh, let's, oh, I've got to click save targets, but our opponent will probably concede soon, one would hope. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, so we de demonstrated the loop there, and we got the one. So, all right. Um, because our opponent uh, didn't have anything as well. Is last uh, time, yeah. So these were good, and uh, it was the... Oof and surgicals. Oof. And a couple of surgicals. So two forces out. Um, Cabal therapy. Uh, one on. therapy, one Strix, and then run 61. I've always, I've always run 61 versus Painter. There's so many, there's so, there's so many cards that are like, because they, I don't know. Painter is Painter has a lot of, a lot of flexibility. Yeah. Like um, and you want like your silver bullets for different lines. Yeah, so the silver bullet being less likely to be drawn in your hand is sometimes a good thing in some ways when you've got like yeah. search effects for it and things as well. Um, I know, like the the standard build for oops or spells is now sixty one cards because you have the memories journey that you don't really want to draw, draw but you always want it in your deck. Which is pretty pretty good text. So we got here. It's okay. We need a cabal therapy or something. We don't yeah, have that don't, much I think I would. I think I would mulligan this versus some painter. Yeah, it's a bit slow against what they can put out, I think. So we've got some interaction here. We can shoot it's, a for Oof, but again, it's yeah, quite I'd slow. Yeah, I keep this one. I think I would, Snuff I Out just about one. makes it keepable. Yeah. Uh, put the trop away. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Yeah, I would just play Catacombs and pass when it's our turn. Um, do you not want to play out the Pluto Delta just in case they have um, a moon effect we can get our island? Oh, yeah, yeah. I would. And we, we now have a brainstorm in case we need some sort of emergency brainstorm, but I don't really want to do that. Next time we can brainstorm with a fetch land. Paint a servant. Sure. Are they going to name black? Are they going to name blue? White. White. Sure. All right. So we're going to snuff out before they untap. Yeah. But we just want to see what we have. All right. So. Yeah, I would brainstorm aggressively here. We want to use a. We want to get a, an underground C to brainstorm here, so we have yep. to snuff out. Yep. All right, I'm slowly getting the hang of this. Uh, I can do brainstorms. That's the part I'm, yep. I can do in magic, but it's uh, always stacking creatures and triggers is a lot. Um, so you probably put away one of the an island. Islands and the merfolk. Uh, no, no, actually, I would want to keep the merfolk. Um, you have two. Yeah, I would put away two basics. We can always go fetch them anyway. Yeah. And we snap this guy out now. Yeah. This could always be bait for the welder, but we don't yeah. think we can afford to take that risk anyway. Because if they no. have a pet or something, I, if they play something. welder, I would force it. Yeah, we've got a brainstorm to pitch, or would you pitch the merfolk? Right? I, I would pitch the merfolk actually. Sure. So we want to crack this for our turn anyway, right? Because we yeah. don't want two lands on top. Well, we we wouldn't mind one of the lands actually. So maybe we could take the one land. It de depends what they play. Oh. Um. We have to force this because they have the win next yeah. turn through this. Yeah, that's. Yeah, sorry. So the Merfolk. Uh, we could get hit by a Pyroblast here, though. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we did not get hit by a Pyroblast. Do we want the land on top or not, do you reckon? Um, no, I would shuffle now. Okay. Grab a forest. This can get us a tundra if we need the white as well. Yeah. So, do we just fetching up Collector Roof now? Yeah, that's what I would do. 
All right. We're sort of not necessarily in the trying to combo them out mode. We're just trying to. No. Like, we can obviously reuse our recruiters a load because our deck does yeah. loads of really silly things. But right. So we've got the youth for next turn. We'll brainstorm as well. So, yeah, we've got Brainstorm, Fetch Land, and Oof. It's not a bad place to start. They have a 2-2. Two -two. That's not too bad. And then probably still get a Grindstone here, I imagine. No, a Petal. Okay. Petal. They have to be using it right now. Yeah. Okay, Fable. Yeah, Fable. Sure. That's so fine. we don't really care about the tokens this produces because they're not going to be making any treasure. That, that does, well, it, it's going to pump their token, I guess. Yeah. They're not going to be able to use it under the Oof. But they could have like a Fury or something and they can dig for one here. Um, probably brainstorm first. Yeah. Uh, using tundra, so we can combine yeah. if we need to. All right, brainstorm. Here we go. Ooh, um, that's good. Um, it's kind of a bit of a nombo giving them some extra lands when we're trying to shut them off of stuff. But that's, I mean, I don't. Eh. It's what well, this is See, more would, to stop the combo, would, but yeah, it's, it's still worth yeah, it. But I would nice. put um oof and vet away. Or no, sorry, oof, sorry, um, land. <laughs> Uh, yeah, land and vet away. Matter super. Much. Um, yeah, I would get. So what's our cabal uh, therapy? I would I would therapy them first. Mm, I just think what I want to name against Painter in this situation. We're probably looking at uh, what they're going to want to put in their bin. This removal we're really trying to dodge. Yeah. So I think it's either Fury or Bolt. I yeah. think they have more Fury post board more... than they have uh, Bolt. Okay. Because not all builds have the bolts in these days. There you go. Very good. Aha. Um, Sorry, fellow painters. <laughs> uh, and then we can jam this guy out. Yeah. Uh, what land do you reckon we want here? Uh, we need another green source for our alluring if we draw it, right? Yeah, I would, I would take... Uh, Is it just a basic uh, forest? I think it'd be a basic forest, yeah. Uh, we don't need don't double... Know. We've already got yeah. double blue anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, so we can already cast Uro with this mana. Yeah. So this guy makes sense. All right. Uh, we're not attacking here. No. So this Pyroblast, I have to imagine, is getting looted away. Yeah. Like, we could have flashed back the Cabal Therapy, but I think having this guy in play is better because of all our bounce effects. Yeah. A Grindstone. Okay. okay. So they looted the Pyroblast away as well. So looking for a paint around removal here. We've just got to take this damage. It's quite a lot of damage, but I think we can take... I would, I would block with... Uh, no, wait, I want to flashback. Um, no, I'm, we're going to get... Uh, yeah, block, and we're going to get uh, Rector to get Deed. Yeah, I guess once we get the Unless Deed... Unless we just... Play. Yeah, we can just draw a Lurin and win, perhaps, anyway. Yeah. Okay, so there's a Saga. Yeah. So our opponent's empty-handed. So all we need to do is draw the Lurin run, and then we can win the game. We did not draw the uh, Lurin, so... Okay, so I would... Uh, play that, uh, get Rector, and pass. I still... The question is whether I want to deed for more than... Uh, land. Just trying to work out if it's worth playing this or keeping it in a hand for Brainstorm right now. Um, Probably better just to keep it, just in case. Yeah, if, we, if we draw another yeah. land, we can play it anyway, because we don't need five mana, yeah. I don't think. Uh, do I want to attack here? This no, guy's I'm not just... blocking, but... I guess in an emergency, we might have to block with it. Yeah. Like, are we not going to beat them by hitting them with our creatures with in combat? combat no. Uh, well, I guess that's not true. We might just deed away all of their stuff. Yeah. But I think we, we, deed, for, we deed for one, right? Yeah. And we sweep up the grindstone as well. We take this, 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 this. Yeah. Uh, this is three, isn't it? So we don't yeah. get that. We get these two as well. Yeah. We're just left with Kiki Cheeky. Yeah, I would, I would block the construct. The uh, hmm. actually, that's tough. It would put us to three. Well, let's see what damage there is. Okay. Oh. Um. We can't really stop them doing that, so we just gotta yeah. see what happens here. Yeah, I would block. Point. You would block. Um. Yeah. Save ourselves a little bit of damage. We are gonna need a little bit of help, I think. Oh, well, no, we can always get the the, the deed here, right? So yeah, we, we're that's, we're that's okay. Um, yeah. So I would I would just play rector and deed right now. I got no cards in hand, so it doesn't really matter. What yeah. Name. Uh, it's gonna be a plus two mace, I think. One. That's a lot of their permanents, and it does hit their great furnace as well. Yep. Now they have a two-two. We're on seven. 
We're going to need to yeah. draw something, but we have Uro in our deck, which would be an incredible draw. Yeah. Or even just a recruiter at this point. We yeah. can just start. Baleful Strix. we got a lot of good draws. Pithy Needle. What do you name it, Pithy Needle? Pernicious Deed again? Cavern Harpy. Okay, sure. Fine. That's good. Um, yeah, I would just play what are we getting it. With um, this? um uh so we would, i would get the um i would get the witness channeler a channeler uh wait let's see um hold on what do we have if we get witness we um, can go and get back uh deed or oof i think we i would i would want to keep it open to other lines right now so i would get um i would get i would get channeler sure. and bounce the recruiter uh so we need to keep open blue to do that Bring this out Blue. Oh, there's so many cool lines in this deck. Uh, return of the non permanent. Bounce this guy. I can certainly see why uh, a lot of the people making videos for this deck uh, don't do a very good job because the lines are <laughs> all over. It's the it's place. it's very it's very painful to watch. Like I've had people play my deck and I'm like, nope, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Like <laughs> it's a uh... oh, that's a good draw. Um, mm. If we draw. Oh no, they can. Oh, they can make a copy. Um, yeah, so they can they can get back any of their permanents from their graveyard, any of their artifact permanents they want. Now, nah, so they might just go and get themselves a great furnace. That's pretty strong here. Give themselves some more mana to work with for the next turn. They know we don't have cavern harp in hand, but we do have the recruiter, so we can do that. I assume they're not attacking with their reflection here. Yeah. So what we got. Okay. okay. I think we want to so cast this first so we have more information yeah. on what turn's doing. We want to leave open yeah. green green as well. Um, we Another want to keep one. the white for the recruiter so we're using yeah. this blue. Yeah. So it feels like being at school doing this. I'm sort of like trying to make sure the teacher's yeah. okay with how I'm doing my sums. <laughs> the Cavern okay. Harpy, this does give us a free bounce for the first one. Yeah, so I would keep it. Um, so I think, all right, so they can only have one in. So what would they... They can't get Fury. They would be getting... They have Painters in there. Um, I think, think they're probably just going to develop witness. their mana on their turn. Or yeah, I think I would get Witness. You're just going to go for the Witness, yeah. Uh, white, 1-1. One, one. And then I think I would get Deed again. Um, depending on what it looks like. You can blow it for bigger numbers. The, well, the Welder scares me. Yeah. Maybe we could have attacked with the channel there, but I don't know. Not, uh, not convinced that's a good idea. No. Considering our life total. We don't get too many at goes with our cavern harpy either. So we'd ideally want an Uro to pair it with. So they get their welder, and then the welder probably gives them the great furnace. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Sure. If they got the grindstone, I'd be a lot more worried. <laughs> yeah. Although if they draw an artifact, are we dead here? If they've drawn an artifact, then we are dead. Uh, no, no, we're dead anyway, right? They get the grindstone, activate the grindstone, then they weld this away for the power. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just dead, yeah, that's fine. All right, we've still got another game, so let's uh, get to it. No changes here, I don't uh, think. No, I wouldn't make any changes. I don't think the possibility of maybe being able to endurance yourself is that good. It can sometimes yeah. buy you a turn, but I don't think that's really Fish good. Steed's good! <laughs> so we've got Iron uh, Ponder, like we've got this. I like that hand. We can do yeah. a lot of stuff with it. I think this is a key. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're on the play. I would just name Welder. Yeah, just uh, straight up get a... Probably need a bad land. I think we get a use. Uh, not yeah, bad, a buy, use. sorry. So we have uh, double green. No, we get a UC. Okay, we didn't off the delta then. Yeah. So we can save the second green for this. Actually, no, we should have fetched it with the uh, the other ones. We could get Tundra, but... No, uh, that's a good point. Probably not super. Yeah, let's name Welder. Yep. Two welders. Yikes. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, so now mountain. take the engineer if we can. Um, okay, we can't. Okay, I think we ponder first and see what our options yeah. are. This could be into a pyroblast, but we've seen our opponent's hands, so it's less likely. Yeah. Uh, oh, I would... Ooh, I, I want that surgical. I, I want, want the euro the and the surgical, I think, right? Yeah, I, well, I want all of them. I want the fourth land too, but I think um, I want the surgical. Yeah, so I think we put the Uro surgical second, now. and then we put the surgical yeah. in our hand, and then way yeah. we can we have it if we need it for anything, and then we play out yeah. this because we don't want to crack our yeah. fetch land. Yeah. 
And if they put if they put a paint no, they wouldn't put a painter in the they would probably put grindstone in there. Yeah, so they're gonna engineer. They don't, something they don't play they don't play Karn anymore, do they? No, well, some builds do, but it's a minority build these days because it's not very good against. Yeah, because that made the that made the surgical plan trickier. Sure. Yeah. So there's a mountain and the engineer. Let's see what they get. So what you can also do is wait till they sacrifice a permanent and then hit it in response. Oh, this, that's this true, one is a sacrifice not, one, not, so you can get yeah. you can actually get a card for it as well as a card yeah. out of that bin, which is a little bit dirty, but why not? I suppose. But if they play a second one, you're kind of in a bit of a bind for not cracking it off earlier. So there's, there's certainly a choice. This is probably going to get a Phyrexian Dragon Engine, maybe, so they can just sort of oh, generate some value. Oh, that, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That's that's a real real big game for them these days. It's just drawing free cards. Can they, can they pay the five that often? Mm -hmm. Well, no, they just welder it in, and they get the trigger from it coming from the graveyard. Oh, God, so I, just forget. Get... That's, I forget that's what it says. Yeah. And then, I forget but, it says yeah. that. So they can just keep weldering it in and out and just drawing three cards a turn. Oh my god. Oh, that seems very good. <laughs> yeah. I like I like the painter deck. It's pretty cool. I love painter. Okay. Um oh, the grindstone. Yeah, I would I would just surgical that now, to be honest. While we know their shields down. Yeah, well we, we yeah, we can do it in this turn cycle. Let's just see what yeah. we can. So we're getting this array. We know there's a land on top of our library, but if we crack this it won't be on top of our library anymore. Um I think that's that's fine though. Um, we could also play uh, Recruiter and take Painter, which seems stronger. In flashback Therapy. Uh, it's probably better to take the Painter than the Grindstone then, right? Yeah, yeah. The... so I would I would play Recruiter. Because that shuts um, off all the Pyroblasts then. Yeah. yeah, and get another... Uh, we can't play the Recruiter, we haven't got the White Source. Oh, that's yes, we haven't got the White Source. Um, Oops. So yeah, then I would play... We need a second Green Source, it's probably Trop yeah. here, right? Yeah, yeah. So then I would play the Chandler... Uh, you play the channel, or would you Draw just play card. the array? No, I want to take their painter right now. Okay. Um, question is, make a. I don't really care. I would, I would just draw, rather draw the card than make the bird. Yeah, I think a card is better here. Who doesn't love drawing cards, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, their card. Therapy yeah, there. Painter. So three cards. Yeah, so hand, so. away. And uh, we might as well wait to their draw step, right? Because they don't have any artifacts. Uh, right yeah. Now. We might be able yeah. to snag a free card out of them. Make sure we put a stop there. Oof. So they got Sozakan and Pirate Blast. Did sure. they bring in Torpor Orb? They did not bring in Torpor Orb. Okay. So it's just the Dragon Engine and the Yerza Saga and the Three Furies, basically. Yeah. I guess Fable can do some work too, but they got a load yeah. of blasts still. So they got so and many they have dead two draws. Spirit guides. That's good to know. I don't know. I I always thought they did, but I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, yet. it's usually th it's three and three in the main deck a lot of the time now. Oh, okay. I guess because... Three cards, and they just played the defense. Uh, one, two, three. All right, cool. So we're probably on Engineer Beats here? Yeah, Engineer Beats. Yeah. If we draw a land, we can get a nice Uro going. Yeah, I would... Yeah, I'd play Uro out here. Green, blue. They can Pyroblast this, but we don't really care if they Pyroblast it. No. Always put a sack trigger on a stack just for the purpose. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Um, so, so we should be able to win through their removal. Because we have double recruiter as well. Yeah. yeah. So we should have them next turn. Yeah. Right. I think I've got. I think I've worked this one out. Let's see what they draw. Hopefully they play something that isn't in their hand right now. But we do have a lightning bolt to worry about as well. I yeah. I'm yeah. I'm not super concerned. I would. I just think we can probably jam for play that. around that one. They haven't used this, which is interesting. They didn't attack with that. Maybe they were scared of endurance. Collector, if we didn't. Okay, well that's 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 a good thing to bait out to start with on the the chain. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much what we get here, does it? Might as well just get a tundra for later in case something goes horribly wrong. Green. Let's play out the oof first. Let's see what they do. Shuts down some of their mana. They probably just float red. Oh, they didn't float red. Sure. So. Play recruiter. Yeah, another have... recruiter first. I would get witness because of the power last. So then we have this recruiter. Um, uh, I would or... do. I would do the the Murph. Or yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we can say this is like a yeah. uh, prevent. So get another another recruiter, then do the Murphok. So the recruiter. And sort of hold that one up just in case. So, so now we uh, do the Murphok. Yeah, holding, priority. yeah, holding priority. Got my f I'm fully on the old control key here. So. 
Okay, now cast. That's the, the recruiter. Because now we have, now we can play around the prior blast. So we get our cavern harping. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes. Um. Okay. Yeah. So let it. Uh, let the merfolk resolve. And we play the cavern harping now. Yeah. So they have pyroblast for this, but we have the witness. That's fine. So now we play the witness, get the harpy back. Yeah. And if they try to bolt the Strix, uh, sorry, bolt the Merfolk, we can and we just can get, recruit uh, the guard. Yeah, and just get a number of things, but probably Strix. So we've seen the. Okay, so then we try the Harpy again. Yeah. So they probably want to like bolt the Merfolk. Bolt here. the Merfolk. Yeah. A braid the Merfolk. Okay, but they didn't float the red, so we're still good. Although it wouldn't, it wouldn't. Uh, probably wouldn't matter. So, so, so now in, we in play the recruit response. response. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now get Parasitic Strix. Yeah. Okay. So we should have this one. All right. Okay, yeah. so we got it. One more to go. See if yeah. we can get the full one. Oh, that's All right. Keep. So uh, I, I know which button to press for this one. Yeah. Let's go for a little mulligan. Oh. Same again. Wow. Uh, I mean, you got to keep that one, I guess. <laughs> like, we have a brainstorm to fix us, but... If we find enough, if we don't yeah. find any lands in it, we're pretty much dead. But yeah, we have some I zero mana keep, I would just try to race. Um, so we're probably looking at one of these I and one of the these. Therapy. You keep the therapy. I would keep the therapy. In case they're a blue deck, I would just try to win on turn four. Okay. I would put away the snuff outs. Whew, it's tough out there sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gonna be like that, is it? Sure. Oh, that's that's a good card to draw. Um. I don't think we want to so get, get dried up. I uh, would play the play basic or play Delta and mm -hmm. then just um and just hope we draw a land and get vet and then we're then we're in and we're kind of ready then, aren't we? Yeah, but uh, we have to resolve our green suns for that. Yeah. Now there is an argument for like getting a trop end of turn and trying to brainstorm to hit the land. Yeah. How do you feel about that as a play? Um, I might do it. Um, I think I would do it. Doesn't it? Yeah, I do it. They. I would. Just, yeah, they're passing. I would do it here. Actually, right, I would get. Um, yeah. no, I would get. I would get a basic island. But we need the green for the. Well, let's see. Well, yeah, then we would be able to get a dried arbor at minimum. So it's their end step. So yeah, I would get a drop. And we're gonna and need two stifle. green pips eventually, but. Yeah, but if we get if we it's it's vet or bust really at this point so. Or, or just draw a bunch of lands off the brainstorm. Come on, brainstorm. Just be three lands. That'd be nice. That's a, a land. Um, so. I don't think we can afford to pitch any cards to this. No, we can't. Put, we can't uh, keep the forests. Um, and we so get the other Chandler, card anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Killer on top. They also didn't daze that brainstorm, so. Yeah, that was an interesting. I, I would just fire off Zenith here. I would get a. It needs to be a black source, right? To cast um, like a bar therapy. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. So is this yeah. sea or is it bayou? Do you reckon? Uh, bayou. Which one? Bayou. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, let's hope for the best. Can we have our one-one guy? We can have yep. our one-one guy. Okay. Right. So now I like the spot we're in. Yeah. Because we get to cabal therapy twice next turn, and if we draw a land, we can go off at the same turn. Yeah. Do we wait till we get a land before we do our Cabal Therapy? Ah, uh, we, can, we can still Cabal awful. Therapy next turn. Does that mean we can check for days too? I would I would actually name Force. Um, yeah, I'd name Force on the first on the front side. And then on the back yeah. side, we can name whatever we need to. So we can't go off next turn anyway. No. But do we... Do and we, we can also just jam Chandler and bounce their Delver and unflip it, which is not bad. Yeah, we've, we've certainly got options. We've got four cards in hand. And I didn't play a fetch land. Hmm. Are you old? Shuffle bug. Um, we yeah. just Cabal Sorry. Therapy in them for yeah, force. Yeah. So either the two cards on top of the library are great and they want them, or they <laughs> didn't find a fetch land. That's, yeah. that's where we're at right now. They're doing something. Bolting face. Oh, do they have like two bolts in their hand? <laughs> I don't. I don't care if that's the case. Um, okay. Well, I've already fired him off. Um, 
We What's need it? to keep the force of will in case I have another one. Yeah. I think we still name the force here. Yeah. Because then bouncing the um, bouncing the. Oh. oh. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. <laughs> We're set. Um. We can't go off this turn though. We can go off next. Still, turn. still flash it back to to bounce the. To bounce the Delver. Does that work? We we need one more land for that, right? Oh no, we will. Yeah. Um. So we hold this for the true. force. The question is, do um, we do we we probably cabal therapy in our opponent's turn, um, just to make sure the way is totally clear. Yeah. They probably only run one brazen borrower main, so we're like to get this yeah. thing. And if they draw the brazen borrower, we can force a will it anyway. Yeah. So we've got force of will cabal therapy to lock up our combo. I think we've yeah. done this one. Yeah. Unless they've got like uh, that three mana uncountable burn spell, it seems very unlikely yeah. they would have that in their deck. Yeah. So I would. Sack that. Um, uh, we're probably naming days here, right? Uh, we drew a land, so I would name Pyroblast. Oh, okay, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, do we not want to name Force because they're going to have five mana here? Uh, um, depends if they get two basics. Oh, good point. Uh, so we don't really care which ones these are, do we? Two basic Forests, yeah. So I imagine they get one. I doubt they'll have yeah. a second. Because most of them do run the one now, don't they? Because yeah. of the initiative. Uh, Sarah Dane Pyro Blast. If I get the cold read and we name this, that would be pretty... Unholy Heat. That's not a big deal. We, ha we have Force of Will anyway, so... Yeah. Um, out because yeah. why not? Uh, green, green, green. And this. Yeah, we have the Channeler just to protect it. That's yeah. better than forcing, so... Yeah. So this gets another recruiter, if I remember right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm learning. We're getting there. Yeah. And this one gets. Another I mean, recruiter. you can you can do the. You can you can do the speedy play, but like it, it can burn you sometimes. So we get another recruiter. Ah uh, no, necessary? Never. that should be enough. Okay, so we just get the merfolk. Yeah. We. Whole priority. priority. Turn this. Yeah. What I'm holding control. That's really annoying. <laughs> Um, the um, mode things. Unholy heat. So and now we just, no, just get a. Uh, I would just get witness to flex. Sure. <laughs> then then they know they have to play around that. <laughs> and honestly, the the fear of what are they? They're just playing the brazen borrower. Oh, they didn't realize they could play it for free. Um, yeah. But honestly, sometimes the the fear of God is is very powerful. <laughs> I think actually more so than... Well, so few people understand what's going on. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. The more hearing. information you throw at, at, at them, the harder it is to process. They're like, if we get the witness, they might be like, oh, we need to yeah. broaden in some graveyard stuff and yeah. get our merfolk back. Play merfolk. Return the recruiter. Play this guy out. Kind of get harpy. So we have, well, I've worked it out now. Yeah. It only took like however many hours we've been out of this. Bounce this guy, play this guy, bounce this, play this guy, go and get ourselves a parasitic Strix. Yep. And get a concession from our opponent, hopefully, but we can click for it if not. <laughs> that looks like they're making you do it. They, they'll they probably like see that it's reasonably fast and then, then concede. That's what I usually get. If the, unless unless they're unless they've played me before. Because I've I have I have gotten like opponents I've played a number of times will just concede to recruiter. <laughs> And trust that <laughs> I know what I'm doing. All right. This is the one thing where Modo yeah. could do with a little bit of help, isn't it? It's getting it is, especially like the, especially the like the the backup games where you go on like Plan C or D off the recruiter loops, where like you wanna you wanna like um, recycle like Force of Will out of out of your graveyard a bunch of times and just force everything they play, like when you in games where you pitch the Strix to force or something. I've I had a I had someone in paper that made me go through that and I was sex. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't understand what I was doing. I was like, no, please you don't understand. Cause uh, <laughs> my my deck that uh, that I was sort of known for playing for a few years uh, was twin. I was like the blue red twin player in Legacy in yeah. the UK for a number of years. And I did I did pretty well with it over the course of whatever um but like playing it online is a real struggle yeah. 
Well, this one's reasonably fast, though, your old name. Yeah, like, it's much better than going through the dungeons, that's for sure. Yeah. Although I guess you might get some games where you go through the uh, the initiative dungeon. It'd be quite fun with yeah. the old uh, art slits. All right, so we got that one. Excellent. So uh, we want the flowers. We want the endurance. And we're getting rid of force of wills. And was there one other uh, change? The depend... Uh, oh, yeah, they were on the counterbalance one, but um, I haven't seen that, so I'd leave the rector in. Um, we don't really want anything I, else. I'd leave that as is, yeah. Yeah, all right. I felt pretty good. The old um, yeah. cabal therapy snapping off twice yeah. is so good. It's a bit like back in the day when you used to have Gatax and Prey, and it was just oh, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> all right, we're mulligan again. So that was a multi five we won with as well, though. Yeah. So, why are you a forest? Oh sure. wait, um, wait. Um, give us stuff out. But we have no black mana for it. Yeah, we have no. If there was a fetch land, I would keep it, but it's not. Um, I think we have to send that one back. Yikes! Oh my okay. god. <laughs> I I'm keeping it. <laughs> I I would keep uh, a. I would keep um. This is we can't cast this off of flowers. Yeah. Right? This only gives us one. Oh color. yeah. I would, so that goes. Then it's, and then some recruiters. Oh. Not the best of times. <laughs> We're some... We might lose to a daze, pretty sharpish, but... Okay, we've got okay. a land here, so I think we wait till turn two to play the carpet. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're not doing anything with the mana immediately anyway. Like we're, we're, no. we're casting a ponder when we eventually get there, but we may as well do it all around yeah. the daze because it's free to do so. They didn't even play a turn one threat. Oh, an end of turn brainstorm on turn one. You hate to see it from a deck like Delver. Yeah. It's just... I used to play a lot of Rug Delver, like, yeah. I don't know, like 12 years ago or something, when it was just, like, Mongoose and stuff. Um, <laughs> that, that's what Delver should have been, a tempo deck, not the, the also control deck with a big haymaker. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so seeing the old Brainstorm like that uh, seems... Yeah. It's not how you want to cast your Brainstorms. Well, it's good for a Mold of Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, look that's, that's good. Um, uh, did we play out the strand? Yeah, we just play the strand and carpet. Uh, so this is carpet. A brainstorm. Okay. So we probably want to cast the ponder off of this carpet yeah. in the second main. All right. We're just an allure in a way, really. Obviously, our opponent's got a load of cards in their hands. So. Yeah. But, I mean, I'd take the... I mean, I, I love just jamming allure in as him to Turok. <laughs> Like it's still good. Like it's it's one of the rare combo decks where you can just be like, I don't care if you counter it. So you're playing around today. It's like yeah, Pyroblast. That's fine. Okay. We can we have the carpet. So like that's having the carpet resolved. We can we can slow roll just some creatures. Because carpet plus is it Merktide? Yeah, I would imagine so. That doesn't give us a lot of wiggle room. So that's a, uh, probably a three ten cards. clock once you add in like a bolt or something. Yeah. Parasitic Strix. And that blocks. Um, I Do think I'm. So I'm gonna. We can get the. Rec I'm gonna get recruiter. And then and we can cast then... Baleful Strix. Um, is that worth doing? Um, they have a land up, so they could have a Pyroblast in hand. Um. Yeah, I want to get. I want to get Merfolk first to play around a counter. So you want a recruiter for Merfolk? Yeah. Okay. And then I would get... Um, I'd consider Chandler Baleful Strix after that. So you want triple white here for yeah. recruiter. Uh, double white, sorry. Yeah. Uh, this will get us blue, won't it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So they just let that go, which is interesting. Uh, so we get the Merfolk here. Okay. Now, we made a um, slight mistake here by not cracking this fetch first. Our opponent um, has priority here. Okay, we're not punished for that. So we need a green source and a blue source. So I, we need to I, would basic, I would just get basics. You just get basic island. Yeah. Like the only. The well, only I guess way... we got we got carp, haven't we? So yeah. we're gonna kick of this to get our recruit back. Yeah. And if they counter it, it does it does nothing because it's part of the cost. But again, when you see all these weird stuff out of allure index, you yeah. go, what we what got are we doing? <laughs> By right, days. We've got this little guy to deal with, but. We got a card out of him. So what is this going to be? Is this going to be a bolt to the face? Feels like... Oh, no. It's the Steam Vents. <laughs> so weird. It's still weird seeing Steam Vents to me. It's like, they've got... They have to jam their iterations. So I think we're in... 
like not a terrible spot. We're not in a great no. spot because they've got a six six flyer and some cards in yeah. hand. But I think we are we can make a real game of this. Which I didn't necessarily yeah, think was gonna good. happen. When we had to mold. Yeah. If you can win off of a multi five and a multi four against Delva, then uh yeah. That's that's safe. <laughs> Well, I mean, it also shows there. that expressive iteration is the problem. <laughs> so they only got one card off their iteration because they found a Merc Tide. So that's good. That's good. Um, I would brainstorm before before this carpet resolving this trigger. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we're well, we want one of those. Uh, um, I'm just thinking about our so I six would... and six is twelve, so one. So we can't really use a fetch land here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, we'll get the white for free. So the yeah. fetch land represents an ex uh, taking a turn off their clock. So I think so. Yeah. We go do the white here. Yeah, uh, and um, cast a recruiter, uh, and then we can go and get uh, baleful strix. Uh, yeah, I think so. Like, it is susceptible to days, but I don't really think we have the time to play around it because they got a massive yeah. guy here. They seem to be relatively just letting things go, but maybe they're just quick on the keys. It's another days. Yeah, another okay. day. Okay. Well, we have a blocker next turn. Um, Not ideal, but no. again, we multi four, and we're making them have to have stuff. This is still not a terrible spot. And we use the reshuffle of our recruit, which was nice. A ponder, and we can't do that first. Uh, so, what are we getting with this? Is the question. Um, do we want to get white mana just in case, or? I think we want green. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... Or we can wait to our second main phase, actually. Oh, that's true, yeah. Let's not try and second-guess ourselves. Always forget the carpets of that. <laughs> it's some old text on the old magic card. They didn't replay their land as well. That was the smart. Um, so I think we can ponder and then see what we're looking at here. Not sure what's taking them so long to decide about letting our carpet uh, trigger resolve. Yeah, probably so, about, like, so water or something. <laughs> we're going to get ourselves a ponder first, see what we can find to... Uh, Oh, that's wowzers. Absolutely keep it. Um, we, so, I don't think they have a third days. We so only get I, one I of these cards, right? Um, Yeah, we only get one. Um, So, I would put them in that exact order. Yeah, with a Lurin on top. Yeah. Are we jamming and, a Lurin this turn? Yeah, we're jamming a Lurin. And um, we'll decide whether to block with the Strix, depending on what they do. So we go to second main and we add some green and play the Illyrian. Yeah. Because if they start digging for Bolt, then I'd be... If they have it, they have it. Uh, okay, okay, they got so force, the pitching, express iteration. Uh, so we know our next... Um... So next time we cast Cavern Harpy yeah, we and can Strix. Get... Oh, yes. yes, we can. Because so... of the thing. So we're not completely dead yet. And then we can block with the Cavern Harpy and bounce Harpy it. for a while, yeah. This is another Murktide. <laughs> it looks like it. That's a little bit awkward. So this is going to make this yeah, last one right. lethal, so we're dead. Yeah. Okay. And still we multi four, and we had to make them have the thing. So a, a force in two days. So. No changes here. So yeah. we just resubmit, and off we go. Hope we get a seven, <laughs> seven card hand. I think we'd be too powerful with the seven card on the play, right? It's, it's just unfair. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I do love showcasing though that like people say like oh this card's unplayable like you shouldn't play like i'm you make you make random invasion block draft chaff into <laughs> to playable magic cards it sounds good i would i would i wouldn't awkward. it is it is awkward but i would but i would trade it for i would trade it for a wasteland are we playing this out on turn one to see if we can just waste that yes. turn? yeah because we do have the brainstorm and um and like all we need is like the colors aren't super important in this one. Like, would we need a basic island and we got that? If we had a different fetch land, I would ship this immediately. Yeah, this gets us our two primary colors. So, our opponent's gone to five so far. Uh -oh. See how they like it. Probably fine. <laughs> a federation. <laughs> so, if they want to waste a waste land on this, that's even better for us. Yeah. Obviously, we can get caught out if we don't draw lands, but we've got a lot of draw yeah. steps to try and hit the lands. Oh, even good. better. So we don't even need to brainstorm this turn. And we can get one down, Jim. Yep. Boom. Exactly as this deck was intended to do. Beat your opponent with a dried arbor. I have I have actually I do like um I do like 
Dry Harbor versus Planeswalkers, weirdly. Yeah. Like, I will, I will like, fetch a... <laughs> uh -huh. Right, so they just played out another fetch, uh, fetch down there. So their mana base is alright, yeah. at least for them. Yeah. Maybe they've just got a bunch of lands. Oh, they're cracking in our draw step. Weird. Odd. Are they bolting the arbor? Oh. Um, I thought I would brainstorm here first and shuffle it, shuffle away. Um, get and the and the well, the Strix is also a good blocker too. Depends. Uh, all right, I'll take that. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to crack that actually. But this no. is your. This is your. Well, we have three lands, so I would just attack and then next time just cast an arrow. Yeah, that seems fine to me. I, I would I would ponder if we don't hit a fourth land. Yeah, um, for sure. Ponder back from our opponent. All right, the pirate blast is interesting because it obviously has quite a few targets against us, but it doesn't. It isn't like going to stop the thing that necessarily kills us. Kills them. No. I mean, it. If, it's if definitely worth boarding in, but yes, if they it's if they hit it if they hit it on harpy at the exact moment, um, it can be good. But yeah, it would, it's still a very relevant. Magic card. So we're going to oh, be punching. So, yeah, so we want to submerge oh. this. Interesting. Okay. I think I still want it. Because I we can afford to play a tapped land this turn. So you reckon we don't? We, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we still ponder. Yeah, we don't shuffle it's still, it away. It's still a land. Um, that's good. Um, so I would take... So we're taking the, the Dried Arbor this turn to play tapped. Yes. Effectively. Um, um, but I want all of them. Do you want to lure in at the bottom? Learn at the bottom. I think we'll just play very slow. Because so we can. Uh, we have that luxury right now. They're on three cards, yeah. and they don't know that we were close to missing a land drop there either. Yeah. <laughs> nice to hide from them. So we've got Tropical Island followed by a Luren on top of our deck. So next yeah. time we can draw the Tropical Island and cast an Uro off of our Dried Arbor Island yeah. in Tropical Island. Yeah. Playing three days. Yeah. Well. We probably don't pay for the days though, right? Because you want to draw that no. in. But we can force the days out of the hand, maybe. Yeah. It's unlikely yeah, they would. Uh, They're more likely to pyroblast or something. Well, but I would still really try to. Going on. Yeah. I would still try to beat the days. Like, they're probably not going to daze into it because we have no. the map. So. Oh, you just uh, scooped. Okay. <laughs> okay, they just scooped. And All we right. got the 4 1. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I think I think the 5 0 is definitely possible. I think it was a pretty. It was a pretty like standard league. The good decks, um, no initiative, which was weird. But I've I've had a really good, really, really good time against that deck. Yeah, I can, Deed, I can see why. Deed and stuff out is 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 Deed is very good against um, initiative. Like even if you're not a combo deck, like if you're just a random control deck, like Deed is. Deed just obliterates them. Like they will, they will generate value so hard for resolving a single spell. But seven for ones are what you can catch up. I also think that because like this deck is inherently built to bounce around removal and stuff, and that's yeah. the main way that the initiative interacts with you, apart from kicking your face in. Yeah, so yeah. The, being able yeah. to mess with that is pretty good. Yeah, I like this much more yeah. than the Aserac build I played for sure. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot more. There's a lot more agency in this one. I mean, I think I think on on a surface level, the argument that you cut dead cards um, in Ace Rare makes sense. But once you get into like the like the real meat and potatoes, the nitty gritty of like this deck, like you start to understand mm -hmm. that like these, you start to understand that this like oh this you think oh this isn't relevant text oh this isn't a good magic card. And then you, when you sort of run them through games, you find out weird, stupid shit like Arctic Merfolk, like the way it's worded is incredibly relevant. And you'll find like that these dead cards aren't aren't as dead as you think you are. Like a two two flyer, like that's it trades with Delver. It kills it. It could kill a Minsigan Boo. Like it's not. Yeah. It's. And you it's can set so up like bad. a little mini like combat lock with the cavern harp in strips, yeah. even without alluring, so you can like fog yeah, a blocker and throw your drain uh, people out. I've I've made a I've made a reanimator player cry with just blocking with cavern harpy. <laughs> blocking the grizzled brand and bouncing it. 
but the thing you're saying about the Arctic Merfolk uh, as part of the cost of it is really interesting as well because it is. I played yeah. some dredge the other day and like I always board in my firestorms against like chalice and blue players because it's an uncounterable way of discarding cards. So yeah. I think uh, having costs that are actually benefits for you is is so strong and it's it's basically it something is. you can't play around, which is yeah. another real strength of this deck that I think is really cool. Like you're not an A plus B combo deck necessarily. You've got all these moving parts. All the moving yeah. parts make the combo stronger rather than weaker, which is unusual yeah. for a deck. Yeah, it's it's it is. I think, I think the the closest comparison, like people would, people would compare it to like, to food chain a lot because like if you look at the surface level, they're like oh they're both playing mid range. But I think the closest deck is actually, like painter, even though it's, even though it's like the mana base is completely different. Yeah, but like I in terms I mean. of how how it plays out in games, I think that's actually the most similar deck. It's a bit like painter, but instead of being artifacts, it's creatures, and instead of being your graveyard and play, it's your hand and play, and it's yeah, kind of like exactly. flipping stuff around, and that's that's really cool. I've, I've, I have enjoyed this, and I think this is definitely better than the Asarak Bells. But I think what people do is this is really daunting to look at as a deck. Oh yeah, when you so look at it, you're like, yeah, ignore it. They don't. I mean. it, yeah, they're like this is this is either this is either too difficult or on the surface level, it looks worse, but like once you, once you figure out what you're doing and like it, the power level, of the ceiling is really high. This deck. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to, you um, you could you play? Oh no, you got the Erector, haven't you? That's why you're running the white recruiters. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Just yeah, yeah. Well, also, um, I think, um, I do, I, I do usually run other white cards in the sideboard, but they're. They're not uh, like I play a Bant sometimes. I play mm -hmm. uh, like there's a lot of hate bears I would play depending, and I think uh, I have I have tried red for expressive iteration and the mana base is a mess. Yeah, it's kind that's, of going away from the things you're doing a bit as well. Yeah, it's that's so I think the white is, I mean you can, you can definitely build this deck with red and like just not play Academy Rector and that's fine and get Pyroblast, like that's. That's yeah. totally a legitimate thing to be doing. You don't need the rector, but I, I think I, having I like well, it. it's like putting another five like, Allurans in your deck, yeah. right? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> but I think like if you if you don't have an academy rector or you don't have tundras and you have like you, you could play you can play red and have it still be a very good deck. Like I suppose you could play things like deafening silence and rule of law type stuff as well. Yeah, as I've, targets I've to get too. against like storm or whatever, or even yeah. like. A piece of graveyard hate if you really wanted to like there's a lot of options you can do here with the way it's set up which i think is yeah. inherently powerful thing to do yeah i think the biggest thing you get out of going uh red is like a mages of the moon yeah That's which is a good. pretty cool thing to be able to tutor out but but not the best format in the world for mages of the moon at the moment since obviously no. like, a lot of the land decks have fallen off a lot because they're really bad against initiative yeah so, but I imagine we'll probably be having a conversation very different in a month's time anyway when uh, <laughs> the format is going to change dramatically and probably not for new cards coming in. Uh, how many we get banned that's, is going to be interesting. Uh, I, I hope so. I, I, I don't play much too much Legacy anymore online or, well, in person because uh, both my niece is injured and, uh, and also because uh, it's my local place is very far away like there is there is but it's just on it's in on the outskirts of town it's like an hour mm. it's a pain to get to um but i i haven't played as much legacy because it's it's been a little exhausting for me as a player and so i haven't played in a lot of high end events because like i my mat my meta game spread has been the same for like two years yeah three years. That's, that's what happens when you and so like even even going scene, back into even going back into like like the uh uh the snoko or the like that was still a good matchup for me because mostly just because oko does nothing against my deck it's like cool you turned my uh you turned my uh my one one into a three three yeah and you just bounce it and get it back anyway yeah so. yeah oh, makes sense well, yeah, um, 
Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to do it. I'm really grateful you coming here. You've given me a, a really new appreciation for the Alluring deck. And I think we might have actually made some content that's good Alluring content for once, which I'm, I'm yeah, very happy yeah, to have it, done. It doesn't, it's very rare, <laughs> I think. The only, there's, Otaba has made some things sometimes, but he's, it's only in Japanese. So I think it, this, it's very hard to find. Explain all the lines and stuff as we were going is, is really good. Yeah. So I think this is actually... Well, I'm hoping that it's an excellent video for people to maybe get into Alluring as an archetype. Yeah. And there is an Alluring Discord that I'll post in the um, comments underneath as well. Uh, yeah, so I was I was glad that. to see it. I was glad to see it uh, do well and not get paired against Doomsday three times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we've been on for long enough. So thank you yeah. very much thank for coming so much. to join us, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe really helps me out. So if you could do that, I would be very grateful. And goodbye.